Hello. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to Adventure Thursday. Um, we're continuing Paradigm this week, which we started last week and was a very weird game. How is everybody doing today? How how has your week been so far? How has your Thursday been? Thursday is one of those days that just exists, isn't it? <laughs> it's just kind of like there's nothing special about a Thursday usually. It's just Thursday is just, just kind of there. It's like Wednesday, you know, it's the midweek. Friday's a Friday. Monday's, you know, Monday's Monday. Thursday? What is Thursday? What actually is Thursday? <laughs> How's everybody doing? I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm just thinking about Thursdays apparently. I don't I don't know. I'm I'm ready I'm ready to play a game, honestly. It's doing its best. You know what I like that answer. I think that's a good way of putting it. Thursday is doing its best. I think you're absolutely right. Um So what happened last week in Paradigm? I know it was a little bit of a less less attended stream. Um partially my fault. Because A, I was streaming during the PS5 conference, and B, I forgot to tweet it out and post it on my Discord. So, no wonder. Um, either way, um, it's it's been a great game so far. You remember Butts? Yeah, I remember Butts. A big stone butt. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> um, and then we kind of shifted into a different uh, plane of existence for a moment. And then we were in an office... And and we killed a water cooler, a sentient water cooler. We murdered it, and that was actually the second water-based creature we'd killed that day. Um, and then we came across like a party button in a corridor, and there's like a tube with a shifting baby in it. There's a lot going on. Uh, I think we just need to get back into it, really. And hey, Tenman, how are you doing? Paradigm. Did I meet the goth octopus? I met a, I met an octopus uh, that sold me drugs. Was that the one you're talking about? <laughs> All right. Okay. You think so? Okay. It's in the vending machine at the drug dealer's house. And thank you. Thank you to uh, the OG2020 for the subscription with Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Paradigm Adventure Game. So we want to just uh, resume game, I guess. Yep, this is where we were. We were in this corridor. There's a leg up here. Can't get to that leg just yet, I don't think. Um, so I just kind of... Big tide lesbian energy. It's good energy. Paradigm with a picture of a little baby in an orange square. That seems about right, yeah. Hey, hey, how you doing? Okay. Oh, yeah, we... We need, like, a thing to buy cupcakes. Yeah, not bad, not bad. You just look... The stream quality can be changed now. Oh, that's good. I mean, I like streaming in 1080p 60fps, but I know some people don't exactly have the um, the internet or uh, the processing power to handle that always. But it's like, do I sacrifice quality for people who can't do it? Or it, it's a kind of a dilemma. Realistically, they should just have quality options available all the time. I don't see why they wouldn't. But for some reason, it hasn't been a thing for a long while, and I don't know why. You have a lot of questions? Yeah. It's kind of... Um... So what did they say when we wanted to purchase a cupcake? I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or ah. a coupon? We no, I, I don't think so. We need no a cupcake for you. I don't know why we would need a cupcake, but I'm going to assume we need a cupcake you. at some I'll point. I'll peruse your cupcake selection later. And, this uh, is a cupcake library. Make sure to bring <laughs> a coupon or cash. So uh, I guess we're going to need a coupon at some point. There's also a vending machine here, so let's look at that. Oh man, this vending machine doesn't have a talking sentient sea creature as a cashier. What a chip. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, so there's a blackest, the most cassette in existence. Um, 
instant Swedish person. Cool. Cooling fire. Don't know what that means. Plus one life. Okay. How to get rich quick with adventure games. Genius. Four stars. Jacob Janurka. That's the dev of the game. Um, instant tree. Okay, brah. That's only one cruise mark, so I'm going to assume that's the item we need to get in the end. Or possibly the instant Swedish person. Either way, I don't have any money, so... Yeah, I have no cash. Can I use this elevator? I look like I can. Okay. I am shocked and appalled. Uh-huh. This is the first elevator I've been in which doesn't have the smooth, crisp smell of urine. Someone in management is clearly dropping the ball. I get that pee smoke. Oh, look at this little rat watching TV in there. <laughs> he's got a little gym. Oh, that's cute. He's got a little. He's got his little uh, little house. Um, let's uh, let's use this complimentary high five then. Oh yeah, high five that. Yeah. All right, I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> Scientists are hot. Maintenance guys are ten times hotter. Hmm. Scientists are hot. You're goddamn right. Those HL1 scientists. Not even a swoon like women who are masters of quantum mechanics. With them, you get lucky and get rejected simultaneously. Okay. There's some used gum. I guess we can take I've that. I've got enough used gum back at home. All right, never mind it's then. It's great for sealing up radiation leaks, especially because most of Crush's gum is lead-based. Oh, that's not healthy. I don't know if we can take that just yet, or at all. Uh, chuck the plumber. Oh, they've got a chuck. They've got a chuck. Oh, my God. If, you, if you're not aware, it's like a running joke in a lot of adventure games that there is a potted plant uh, called chuck. I think it started in Zack McCracken. Um, but and, and poss it's possibly in Maniac Mansion. Um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's definitely in that one. Um... And there's one in Thimbleweed Park. I can't remember. There's lots of games. That, lots of LucasArts ones specifically that have Chuck the Planet. Ah. Hello, plastic dying plant. Oh, it's plastic. Oh, okay. It's a plastic dying plant. Okay. I was not aware there was a market for shitty broken down house decor. Can I pick it up? Nah. I'd rather not. You know what? Doug thinks that plastic plants are an insult to his species. I can see but that. Which species is he a part of? I always forget. He's an eggplant, isn't he? Or as we say in the UK, an aubergine. Uh, so we're on office level, I think. I guess we can't go to these red ones. Let's go to labs. Activate? Okay. Okay. By the way, I think I'm gonna um, you can't see if I can finish this smack to me. game today. Just because you're doing it telepathically doesn't mean it's not bad manners. You Hi. do, Mr. Yum Yums. What does she have on her shoulder? Ugh, not this again. Is that a two-headed cat? The names aren't demeaning. They're cute. Is it a torso suspended? And that's an arm. Just because you're all high and mighty consulting me on corporate sabotage and money laundering, you think you're too good for their name. Thank you for the whole follow, by the way, Trilby, dude. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Nothing else to say. Graham, watch out! A poisonous snake! Paradigm, we weren't going to liberate you till, like, four o'clock. Jesus, rollerblading Christ! I had the most delicious spread prepared for lunch. I woke up early for that shit, packed little Tupperware boxes. Now you're telling me I have to wait? Yeah, nice one, Mr. Paradigm. If you weren't the key to taking down Duba genetics, you'd be done. Uh -huh. Done, Paradigm. Done! No one messes with my spread! Uh, sorry for <laughs> liberating myself? Done! Uh, Sorry, I just take my spreads really seriously. Yeah, I got a lot like good spread. Sometimes. What the hell is going on? Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Ramalay. Uh, I got Twitch RPG bits. Nice, thank you. And thank you for the Cedric. Always appreciate a Cedric. Feeble Files is not a game that I've played. That's um, an adventure soft adventure game, isn't it? Um, like uh, Simon the Sorcerer, guys, I seem to remember. 
Am I correct in that? I can't. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I like your hat. I like your hat. Thanks. I got a lot. Oh wow. Week. It's probably my favorite now. That is a two-headed cat as with much backwards as I like caps in them, and one of them's got a beard. I feel like we have more pressing things to talk about. She also has. Looks like. Um... Uh, who are you? I'm the leader of the rebel group Baxt. I don't know. What does that stand for? People against generally shitty things. That seems like a good I cause. Something I can get. Yeah. <laughs> are you hiding anything under that jacket? Are you mutated too? Nah, I just keep all my snacks under here. Oh, good plan. Super practical. Yeah. I'm apparently the key to taking down dupla genetics. Yes, you're the all-important faulty prodigy child. Also, apparently, your innards hold the key to world domination. Oh, of course. Whoa, I'm a faulty prodigy child? That's a pretty big reveal. I feel like it should have been more dramatic or heartfelt. You know, the fact I was born for commercial gain in the lab, and now they want to dissect me? <laughs> I pretty much knew that already, but uh, you didn't know that. You're stone cold. Yeah, well, I'm terrible at this uh, touchy-feely stuff. Last time someone cried in front of me, I just pat them on the head. Damn. Anyway, because of this, the rebel committee and my telepathic kitties recommended I commission a children's book to help explain it to you. Also, because we weren't sure if the deformations affected your brain. Eh, read this first, and I'll tell you how to get out of this mess. Okay. Your mummy is an evil company called Duper Genetics. <laughs> Baby paradigm. It's horrifying. Uh, written by Pags, illustrations by Kuba Janika J Janikowski. Klaus was a big businessman with no ethics who owned the company named Dupa Genetics. Okay. He set up head office in Eastern Europe to save money and avoid an ethics law holdup. Uh huh. He was big Mr. Grumpy Face, hating almost every Look the art. <laughs> every place. But he did love glam metal oh, right, music yeah. and professional wrestling magic. That's definitely relevant. He thought everyone was stupid for not liking both. That made him mad and sad. So he made an oath. Is he on Reddit? I think he's on Reddit. <laughs> to take over the world so everyone had to listen to glam oh, and watch professional wrestling on every program. Hmm. He started by inventing the fully customizable Prodigy Child, perfect for rich parents whose biological children are wild. I see. No longer passing their name <laughs> to their biological shame. Oh no, the, the shitty biological child is a neckbeard with a fedora. The Prodigies eventually inherit their power and wealth, after their parents experience a bit of bad health. Hmm. Little did they know, Klaus still had power over them to help execute... It is very eugenics-like, isn't it? ...and glam mayhem. I mean, you want everyone to be into glam metal and, and wrestling, but I don't think eugenics is the way to get there. Meanwhile, he made Olaf the Sloth a living candy machine. Oh, God. Vomiting various candy every half an hour was his routine. So that's why he does that. Olaf loved class. Class did not. Constant candy was the <laughs> only thing he sought. Hey, class, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to hang out? Hey, man, want to hang out? Hey, bud, want to see a movie? I saw a trailer before I, I want to... What? I saw a trailer before I want to poop, but I have no hole. Oh, okay, that's what it's called. Looks pretty scary, haha. -ha. Should be pretty... Uh, should be good. Have you seen my keys? Sorry, I haven't. Anyway, you want out today? Just, <laughs> how are you? Okay. <laughs> Klaus later died of type 2 diabetes from all the candy. This made Olaf very sad and angry. Oh, God. Olaf made a vow on his deathbed that he will continue his legacy instead. Oh dear. The only problem now that after 12 years, the prodigies suddenly pursue creative art careers. A lot of the time they do performing arts instead of business plans and pie charts. 
Ugh, society. This isn't how pie charts work. But there was one mutated child facing many tragedies. Not affected, he kept making commercial it's electro me. melodies. Now Olaf oh, wants wow. to give Paradigm an autopsy. Hold on. The key to Are that tumor's bones? The prodigy child army. Continuing class's plans to only make him happy. Hmm. I've got the artist. I'd much rather be doing my own stuff, but shit, man, gotta pay them bills. This cheese and mac addiction doesn't come cheap, especially when it comes to my bowels. All right. I'm done. I feel like I want all my news relayed to me via rhyme now. You can keep it for future reference. Did it make sense to you? While slightly demeaning. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we weren't sure how smart you were, especially after a few months of observation. So we winged it. You fit into hot pockets <clears throat> straight out the oven every time. <laughs> hey, I'm a hot pocket athlete in training. <laughs> <laughs> serious commitment. Yeah, those cat eyes also, are interesting, aren't observation? they? I'm uh, not going to even ask. <clears throat> so now what? Basically, we need to get rid of all of. Well, not we. Mostly you. Uh, do we really have to? I mean, the whole world domination thing is a pretty big downside. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Also, the part where I'm dissected for scientific purposes is not that great. That's also not pretty. Not pretty either. He seems like a big cutie. <laughs> this will not. I just want to hold him and give him infin infinity cuddles. Put him in a, a pram and pretend he's my baby. Pose a photo of him on social media and reap the internet points. Make him a cute antagonist in an adventure game. Ooh, meta. Um, I'm gonna go for the meta response. Make him a cute antagonist in an adventure game. That's true. He is pretty adorbs. Not that keen on listening to glam metal for the rest of my life, though. Sometimes you need that doof doof or oons oons. Ah. <laughs> well, if I had to be ruled by a dictatorship, it would be a sloth dictatorship. Well, if I had to be ruled by a dictatorship, it would be a sloth dictatorship. I guess so. <coughs> Supreme ultimate ruler Olaf does have a ring to it. So anyway, this floating guy here is the only person who knows how to get rid of him. It can talk? That's the problem. The dumb asshole tried to escape when I came here to ask him. The teleportation went wrong and ported his limbs ah. around the facility. What you need to do now is collect said body parts. I guess that's all that severed leg was. All in the machine. I'll handle it from there. Good luck. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mittens says don't mess it up. Oh, that's Mr. Mittens. Or he will passive-aggressively push stuff off your desk. Understandable. I'll keep that in mind. Also, I took the restrictions off the elevator now. We put them on because of the 80% failure rate. 80%? That should be fine, though. Oh, God. I've reaped enough bad karma, I think. Just look at your face. Damn. Thanks. Ah, all right. We've got more places to explore. Uh, copious amount of coffee mugs. Let's have a look at those. Coffee mugs are the most abused of all mugs. They need a union or something. Fight for your rights, mugs. <laughs> if I take one mug, it's gonna make the others jealous. That's fair. I can't hear that weighing on my conscience. What's this here? An audio tape. Oh, my workout tape. It makes me happy at least one person stole it. Huh. Nice. I can use this with my duper gym. I'm not sure if I want to know what this is, but uh, um, let's have a look at this. Fat beats to work out by. Let's let's have us play it. Welcome to Paradigm's workout mix. Get ready to feel the burn in your muscles, not from the workout, but from all the beautiful people who try to rub against you after you're oh, looking no. amazing doing this routine. Alright everyone, let's get warmed up. Stretch your arms, your legs, and all your unnameable limbs if you have them. <laughs> stretch, 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 repeat, stretch. <laughs> nice, stretch. yes, what do stretch. these do? Alright, time to pump it. Up, up, down. Down. This is the thing. Right, right, fighter combo bicycle kick. Phew. Are you feeling it? I know I am. All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> well then, what's this? Ah, another one of these. 
Let's have the yes button does nothing, I know. I was hoping it would be like a, uh, make a little yes noise or something. Arthur G, occupation accountant. I'm really nervous as to why they call me up here. I'm Arthur, the accountant. Not Arthur the guinea pig. Duba Genetics is going to be bankrupt soon, anyway. Might as well suffer it out. What did Olaf expect? He fired over 90% of his staff just to pay for his wig collection. Not to mention retrofitting a large replica of his head at the entrances to his office. That does seem a bit ostentatious. There's an arm here. We have to find the rest of his body. Okay, let's just let's uh. Like, limbs for everyone. Put that in there. No wait, I need these. Oh, I would have put it in the limb depository actually. That makes more sense. I need all five body parts first. Okay. I feel like I'm going to regret. I don't know what this does, but let's do it. Oh. Well, that was severely underwhelming. Hold on. Okay. Um, anything else I can look at here? That's a bonsai tree. Let's have a look. Bonsai trees are like the little people of the tree. Is it a pokeball? No, I think it's a button. Mysterious mystery hatch. It doesn't have any handles. Just like I have no handles in my life. That's fair. Um, I guess there's nothing else I can do here right now. Let's um, let's look for these limbs. Is that one of the limbs? I really wish I was the guy who came up with the idea of commercializing human gestures. The guy made some fat sticks. Like, is that like its own limb, or is that like one of the limbs I need to find? It's arm one. Can I pick it up? Warning. Non-maintenance personnel attempting repairs will be bitch slapped if they do not use it. <laughs> okay. I'd like to avoid any bitch slapping uh, while the option is there. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle form so others can't use it. Oh, I wonder if this is the riddle. Scientists are hot. You're goddamn right. Scientists Nothing are is hot. Swoon like women who are masters of quantum mechanics. Men, it's guys are ten times With hotter. You get lucky and get hmm. rejected simultaneously. I wonder. Thank you for calling maintenance. I wonder if this Someone does anything. Will be ready to help in ninety-one. Thousand, two, that seems like a, a bit of a while. Hours. I don't think. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down. If okay. Write it. Okay. So what does this one do? Troubleshooting mode activated. Oh. Please input security code button sequence. Now. Ah. So this is where we put the. To exit troubleshoot mode. I it... think it's time to put in that code. What? You know, I got this bright idea. I think huh? you should put in that code. Skibbity bop, bidibop bop, put what? that, put that, put that code, skibbity bop. Mm. Okay, let's button just button. leave that there for now. You know what, let's explore for a bit. <laughs> I don't know what's happening now. Oh, activate. Head marked. I think he just did a bit of a scatters, yeah. It, 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 I wouldn't worry too much about it. That's a head! Hey, that looks like the scientist oh. kid over there. Oh no! No! Wait a second, don't. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that animation. Ah, uh, I can't even get head. Literally. <laughs> what is my life? This is very, uh, Futurama. Uh, Simon Nelson, John Bros, Raphael Wauer, Wauer, Alex Tucker, Michelle De Hayes, Simon Boxer, Big D, Serena Nelson. Hmm, are these developers? There might be Andrew Jensen, Aaron Odin Jensen, Mark Fury, Max Mofo. 
Oh, heck, it is him as well. <laughs> okay. No, MSG. All right. I think this might be... I don't know. Was this something to do with Kickstarter? Efficient. Mm hmm Floating hot dog. Has science gone too far? Yeah, not far enough to be honest. Doesn't yeah. even have onions. You can't have hot dogs without onions. Uh, I cannot verify that. If there is anything in this world that should be preserved, it's donuts. We can't yeah. risk losing years of donut making progress. You know what? That's a good point. Yeah, I'll sprinkle sweets on your icing anytime. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I used the pickup option. He did a, he did a pickup line, of course. Oh, cool, Polaroids. Wait. It's like using pickup on a care cap site in Monkey Island too. Polaroids, be gone, you Polaroid demon! Oh my God. Oh, that's worrying. This is no time. Okay. Can I use this terminal? Mm. It has a password. Time to hack this bad boy. All right. Oh, oh. Okay, this is happening. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yup. This is happening. Hacker man. Oh, cool. we're hitting hyperspeed. The, the bit rate. Yep. Okay. If login details were admin, admin. <laughs> Thank you, IT incompetence. <laughs> All right. Trentius Rattus. Gold, Jerry Gold, Reginald Jorpodoskovoski. I think that's the guy we need. No Wi-Fi signal. Oh, no. Oh, IT support's now open. Well, that's something we need to do at least. Who else is in here? I want to have a look. Jarobi Disconcerti. Actually, I wonder if that is the right one. A lot of these scientists have glasses and long hair. Rigo. Pengi Master. Philip That Guy McKinnon. Kim Wallace Willstrand. Uh, that person has boobs for eyes. You know what? That's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm done. <laughs> Oh, you can customize. Okay. Okay. Brain. Let's, let's, let's make. Let's find one where I can make myself in it. Let's see if there's any decent long hair. Yeah, that might be fine. Mm. Ah, that's perfect. That's me. Okay. Wear some glasses. That's boobs. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Actually, let's see if there's any of this. No, no, no. That's it. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, well, we're done with that. Did I ever play the Magic School Bus computer games? Uh, I don't think I did. I think I know which ones you mean, though. Yeah, Terminal. Not my type. Much more petite than what I normally go for with computers. Okay. Can I take some shopping bags? Stealing eco-friendly bags is like taking Mother Nature on a first date and then never calling her. Serena Nelson. I'm fairly certain Serena is um, it's, an, it's a free adventure game by Senscape. 
the create um and this is a character it, the game is actually called Serena um and she's voiced by pushing up roses I believe Sensual. but I don't know if that's the reference directly or if they, they're like specific people who have like donated certain amounts so I, I, I don't know well let's go to IT support then I guess so we can get that head. I can see how this went down. Jerry, I love your design, but you know what? I also love fish. Can we get the fish in there? That's a terrible idea, but because you're paying me, okay. That's what doing graphic design is like. People go, oh, could you do it like this? And you're like, that's going to make it look terrible. But you know what? You're the boss. Alright. Yeah, the rat's just chilling watching TV down there. <laughs> uh, when you started a magic sc uh, school bus game, you had to make an avatar with stupid looking options. Oh yeah, I think I... There's someone who did a video on a magic school bus game. It might have been PBG. I think I vaguely remember that. Oh! Well. This is not what I expected IT support to look like. I'm... Pretty sure I had a nightmare like this once. I had to have a rap battle with Internet Explorer. Oh god. Turns out the dude gets a lot of smack talk from people. <laughs> so he had practice. <laughs> totally destroyed me. Oh my god. Yes. Well, I guess we're here now. This is how I die. Oh, hello. Tall lady. Hello, sir. I'm from IT. Welcome to the settings room. Oh, hello? I, uh... You look surprised. Well, you know, IT guys are normally... In the corner it says, this is a pirated version. A lot more greasy <laughs> and awkward. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. I can't blame you. Popular culture distorts a lot of reality. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm looking to reset the router. <laughs> Seems like the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, really? Well, I'll get right on that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Psych! I'm a walking stereotype. Oh no. Welcome to my realm of pain and errors. I'll never reset the router. It's the only thing that makes it look like I do something around here. You'll never catch me. <laughs> and he doesn't move very quickly, does he? All right, let's go. Let's go. Please let's, work. Let's catch this nerd. Oh. Good. Just good. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Kill Basso as a fatal error has occurred. I know you weren't doing anything important. That would be a real shame. Real shame. Who am I kidding? I hope you were doing something important and got to save. Did you? Oh, may have lost it. <laughs> well, this is this is something that's going on right now. I am detecting why you don't love me. <laughs> that's a startup noise. Uh huh. Oh, ah, god damn it. Oh, hey, it's a mouse. It looks like Chubazo has just crashed. We recommend you send an error report that will never be read. Is there another option? An angrily written letter using your own blood or ink with a light sprinkling of airborne virus in the Puppy's animal. cousin, yeah. Seems oh, like. That's intense. Can we tone it down a bit? Maybe just a passive aggressive letter will be more applicable to your conflict avoiding personality. That sounds doable. Now to use my hexor skills to rally the items. Hecky hecky hecky. Mhm. Mm Ding. Ding. Uh huh. Kibasu has encountered a fatal error which caused a system reboot, also affecting his general self-esteem. Please take get better care of the ORS. They won't be around forever. 
Failed to report this to the developers until access to the system settings. Let's have a look in here. Postal box. Sure. Ooh. Door. Ooh, okay. Pen. Uh-huh. Jack special folder. Don't look. I don't even want to look in there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. The more viruses your computer has, the stronger its immune system becomes. That's not Make true. Sure to visit at least one malicious site a day to slowly build it up. That's not how it works. <laughs> the more viruses nope. your computer has. Sure <laughs> I love that this is a thing. <laughs> this is so weird. Lock size. Okay. Uh huh. Let's have a look. Oh, then. God. I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Alright, pen. Ah! Score! I promise you, pen. You'll be the first it's, one that. The, the size is, is, uh. Oh. oh. Let's keep that. Let's keep things in check. <laughs> uh, postal box. Oh no! Oh! I still get flashbacks from the babushka mailbox. I'm going to need counseling after this is all done. Can I use it? I need the angrily worded. Letter. What even is this? It's a good question, Hyperic. I'm not entirely sure how to explain it. Huh. Every time I retrieve items from the recycling bin, I feel like a necromancer. Rise, my wrongly deleted children. <laughs> Rise. Uh, can I? It's too high up. Oh, okay. I get why. You never get the game bugs you want. Ah, I see. Oh, hold on. Hold oh, 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 ah. Let's check out what's inside. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes. Blank paper. <laughs> cool. I have blank paper. Let's write this letter then. I still need the envelope. Oh, right. We need an envelope. How do we do that then? Can I uh, pick this up? Is my act as an envelope? Ugh. All right. Let's see. Contraception. Uh huh. The rubber band collection. Uh huh. Let's go about ten folders. Deep. Oh no. Oh, nice. A wildly inappropriate erotic novel. Of course. The jungle is full of terrors. And handsome anthropomorphic hippo men. Oh. And jackpot. A mega bro zapper. I've always wanted one of these. Pew, pew, pew. Actually, maybe we should look at the mail. I can't. It keeps flying away. Oh. It keeps flying away. Damn it, okay, interesting. Um, I wonder if we have anything we can use to grab this then. Oh, then maybe I need to zap it. If only clearing out your inbox was this fun, you could turn it into an FPS and make a killing on hats and gun skins. <laughs> Take not developers. Is that a, a Valve joke? Better take the corpse and hide the evidence. Who knows if there is any email equal right? <laughs> Jack writes a rock like Cooper fan fiction. Sounds like. All right, is that uh? All right, cool. No. Hold on. A perfect neat package of passive aggression. Ah, perfect. I believe. Ooh. Let's get the uh, postal box out, and then uh, deliver our strongly uh, strongly worded letter. This better work. Jenkuya. Oh god. No worries, dude. Oh, there he go. Hey, it worked. The door is back to normal. Except for this whole static <clears> thing. <throat> it feels like I'm dying. Ah yeah, that's fun. Let's let's just get through this uh this door and uh... Greg, fix that goddamn router. It's been a week. My internet withdrawal symptoms are getting out of hand. I'm getting all sweaty. You know how super irritating it is having damp fur all day? <laughs> Funny you say that. I have an incredibly hairy chest. No. Shut up. Yes, Olaf, sir. And you still haven't fixed Crush's surveillance network. What's going to happen when we execute... Is that, does that sign say memes plan? rule? 
Do you want yep. us to be the next Neo North Korea? Yes, Olaf. Uh, I mean, no, Olaf. Good. Oh, and one last thing. I swear to God, <laughs> if I catch you posting shit memes of me online again, I will murder you. <laughs> you know what? I can re I can respect that. Memes are dank delicious. Ooh. Dank delicious. That's not a good word. Oh jeez. You escaped my realm of errors already? It wasn't that hard, honestly. I was planning that escape room for months. Months. You mean it was just an escape room game? Neat. Well, man, it's all a part of the process. I'm happy to give you some feedback. Thanks, Paradigm. Um, nice sneakers. Nice sneakers. Thanks. They're not actually shoes, though. They're actually a mutation. Oh. All flesh. Oh, no. Are you really a wizard? I've always wanted to be one. Uh, any tips? Yeah, you have to make sure you never touch a woman till you're. 30. I can definitely hear the Billy West, actually. You I know what you're talking about. Wizard. I'm almost there. Nice. <laughs> well, I was just joshing you. That rumor has been flying around for years on the internet. It's kind of heartbreaking when people finally apply and all they have to do is sign a few forms. A little bit Patton Oswalt as well, you know what? I, I, I hear that too. <laughs> so why don't you, you know, wrap me out to Olaf? So, uh. Why didn't you, you know, rat me out to Olaf? For reason one, I needed someone to playtest my escape room. Hard to get good feedback these days, you know. Reason two, Olaf's new plan. Olaf's plan is better, replacing Claus's old one. If Olaf manages to execute it, that is. Mm -hmm. I'd have to set up an international propaganda network. Which means I have to do more than pretend the router is unfixable. I really can't. I've got camping and fishing trips to go on with the boys. And anyway, Not the trip to the boys. Plan was way better than Olaf's. Um, where do you normally go camping and fishing? Oh, just across the border to Polovets. It's not that great, actually. Although, really, it's the only place where the fish aren't infected with flesh-eating bacteria. That's important, I suppose. Do you know Klaus? How was Klaus's plan different to Olaf's? Yeah, we were pretty good bros. Used to play handball on Wednesdays. You see, you were the original key to the plan. Something, something, the ultimate leader. He's Unite got a uh, uh, floppy Canada, disks Canada. on his but knees Olaf and on his crotch. jelly of you since he was only made to vomit candy bars. Hence the whole wanting to kill you thing. Understandable. And I just realized telling you some of the plan may have, in fact, ruined plan. Well, so, you know. Uh, I'm going to leave now so as not to mess things up anymore. What about the whole surveillance thing? <laughs> well, peace. <laughs> it's walk cycle. <laughs> You've just moved like 10 meters away. I can still see you. Yeah, well, pretend I'm not here and just reset the router. Forget anything I said about Claus's original plan. Alright, there's a organizer here, so let's look at that first. Uh, Agniska P, our creation general manager. It's been day 800 inside the glitch world. I think my theory is correct that time passes slower here. All I wanted was to figure out how we saw Adobe PDF reader, but that damn IT wizard trapped me in his realm here. I managed to stay alive by eating browser cookies I find around the place. I hope to get back to my husband and child soon. When will this nightmare end? Jesus Christ. Right, let's reset the the let's roots. Let's reset there. this bad boy. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> nice. Wi-Fi is right. I can Brilliant. Get hit now. Let's go. Let's go back to... Thank God I can finally leave this glitchy hell. Alright. Let's go back to Headmart. We can get, a, get our boy. 
And then there's a few, like, we need to find the other body parts. Which I assume are... Uh, actually, there's no here. Did I look at this before? Dear value customers, we have the biggest selection of heads in the Eastern Block, and I hope you enjoy what we have in store. We like to keep the stasis liquid at a chilly minus 20 degrees Celsius to keep our heads fresh and leave them at an, in an almost coma-like state. We care about quality. Please do not tap on the glass as it, as it agitates the head. The stressed head loses value extremely quickly. Thank you for the follow, Galactic Octocorgi. Good username. It is a very unique game, this. Very strange. But also really, really funny. Probably one of the funniest adventure games I've played in a long time. I'm having a great time with this. So I think we need um, this guy here. Now that I think about it, I should probably figure out his name before I start retrieving heads willy-nilly. One mutant okay. can only adopt so many heads. Or I could collect a bunch of welfare from 200 heads. Nah. Too much paperwork. Right. Anyway, it's probably written somewhere around the lab. <laughs> no matter who you thought, it takes them a second to read your name. It's because of the, uh, it's all in lowercase, so I kind of have to figure out where the, um, the, the separations are in it. <laughs> so it takes a moment to process. Alright, let's figure out who this guy is then. I believe it's Jorpodowski. It looks right anywhere. Now maybe we have to find, his, find out his name elsewhere though. Okay. Urge to smoke rising. Oops. This fish based advertising sure is powerful. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the labs. We might be able to find out his name from there. I'm pretty sure we saw that his name was uh, Joe Podowski in a, in a, in a cutscene, so. I'm fairly certain that we've seen that name before. Can we, like, see it on here? a torso would have its upsides. You need less alcohol to get drunk. Mm -hmm. You never need to buy extra leg room. That's true. And when you are in the cinema, you don't have to worry about awkwardly battling for the use of the armrest with the person next to you. Also fair. Alright. Could you... Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, do you know the name of the scientist guy? That's, one we, that's the one we need. But it's quite a few uh, options here. Let's, let's, let's go through them all. I've got to go feed It's actually, that's, that's goodbye, okay. isn't it? Never mind. Hold on. Um, I thought it was just a funny option. Um, I've got this. Let's try this. When was this game made? 2017. Story. Sure, let's hear it. <laughs> well, it's the funniest thing. Me and my friend <laughs> went to the post office and they... <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and like... <laughs> my friend... Is being all funny and stuff. <laughs> this uh, story was a lot funnier in my head. Oh God. Yep. Well, that's awkward. What else do you know about me? What else do you know about me? Other than the fact you're a self-loathing loser who can't handle criticism and never follows through with his goals, not to mention whose internet viewing habits would make longtime fetishes gag. Wow. You know, I was hoping for a. More fun answer. <laughs> we know your favorite color. We know that you're wicked good at making hot pockets. I did not book in for a day of crying today. Aww. Now you can see why they commissioned a children's book to explain things to you and not me personally. All right. Um, what's up with your cat, cats? What's up with your cat? Oh. Uh, cats? Sorry. I'm not sure how to address two-headed beings. They're my telepathic cat advisors. Being oh, a right. leader is pretty hard and they help a lot. Also, aside from their advice on guerrilla warfare and espionage, I like giving them pats. Valid. Would you like to be my romantic love interest? Uh, sorry, Paradigm. I already have a boyfriend. Here, look at this photo. What is that? He surprised me one day with a professional shoot. His gifts are always so thoughtful. Is it a burrito? Huh. Okay. Can you tell me more about the bakes? Pretty self-explanatory. We are people against generally shitty things. Alright. 
So I know what I'm supposed to do, so... Hey, uh... That's what we need to find out, really. Do you know the name of the scientist guy? I don't know, man. I can't even remember the name of my sister's boyfriend. He is permanently called Man. Anyway, it's probably written down somewhere in this room. Great. I've got to go feed my dog. Okay. Right, um, let's have a look. If we can find it written this down anywhere. Cool. They're all connected together to work as one big supercomputer. I wonder what the groundbreaking calculations they're performing. Wow, it's calculating the cure for cancer. Oh, wow. Sorry. I lied. Oh. It's just torrenting copious amounts of mediocre, naughty sitcoms. Oh, no. All right. Let's see. Uh, red. Uh, we made it red. I'm just going to stand uh, over there now. Uh, let's have a look. Did I use this? I think I did look at this before. Um, no, that doesn't, that doesn't help. Where can we look to see if we can find out more about this scientist guy then? Information feed. Let's take a look. From what I can see, the scrolling text is just a social media feed of mm. various animal joke accounts. Well, owner threw a ball and I couldn't find it. <laughs> I'm still looking for it. It's eating me up inside. Wow. I... I feel like it. Oh, post-it notes. So many post-it notes, and all of them say, buy more post-it notes to look more organized ASAP. Well, that's very... Oh! Yeah! That torso's name. There we go. I was gonna say, that was unhelpful, but, um... We got it. Okay. Right, so now we can finally get this, uh, this head. Good old Reginald. Right. Okay. Price is not guaranteed frequently. There we go. Fetch me that head. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Uh, You're mine now, head. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. I best use this shopping bag to make sure no one thinks I stole anything. That's a good idea. <laughs> Just keep the head in the bag, you know? No one will think that's suspicious. So now we need to find a couple of pairs of legs. And... Um, an extra arm, I think. Well, let's go back to. The, we know where there was a leg earlier because we saw it, like complimentary high five. Yeah, you can high five the the thing. I think we. I think this, this is one of the arms we need. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah, do it again. Okay. Hey, drifting. How are you doing? I need to find that, um... There's the leg. We need to get this somehow. Yeah, not bad. Wall crack. Oh, we might have to tear this wall down somehow. Once your wall is cracked, you can never go back. Unless you hire a respectable tradesperson. So maybe if we take the wall down... Nice spoon is destined for greater things. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, I don't like this, um, <laughs> this inventory <laughs> icon. Okay, laser pointer. Um, I don't think we can do anything. I don't think we can get that yet. All right. We've still got a couple of other places to explore. Before we can find all the parts to, uh... Rebuild this scientist anyway. Yep, 
Yeah, this game is very weird, Mr. Consul, how are you doing? Uh, lobby. We haven't been there yet, so let's go to the lobby. Oh, I, we saw this place in, another cu in a cutscene before. Do not says, help yourself to the breadsticks. We only buy the best. Unlike our competitor, Satisfactory Genetics, which serves bar sticks. Oh. Clearly the inferior stick based food. Clearly. Well, I'll take them. Breadsticks will not help me on quest, unless I want to throw an average no problem, party Mystic. with people I don't even like. Deporganizer. Let's read this one. Michelle S. Occupation CEO. Prodigy children? More like waste of money failure children that I could wish I could legally abandon without any legal repercussions. I ordered a world-class banker that's supposed to have been on the cover of Baller Bankers magazine, but then at age 12 decided to be an artist? I paid extra for academic failure insurance, even shitty personality insurance. My 51 lawyers will rain down legal pain. Damn. Okay. Who's this? Bob Hedge, right? What? Billy was Dupla Genetics maintenance man for many faithful years. His personal hygiene was terrible. The facility's hygiene was acceptable. <laughs> Until he was sadly taken away from us. 4 6. Rest in peace, Billy. 26. It was Take Your Pet to Work Day, and Artyom, a former employee, brought in his bear, which took the countless <laughs> employees. Artyom! <laughs> including everyone's favorite, Billy. Due to HR cutbacks, we present to you this bobblehead of Billy to forever honor his life here at Dupla Genetics. On a side note, Artyom's bear now works in upper management. Oh! Signed, Dupla Genetics CEO Ulov. Hell yeah. I was gonna ask if you could bop the head. Heh. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> I want one. What is that dragon head? Impressive trophy. Eh, I bought it from a Trajoski mark. They didn't have the color I wanted, but I made a compromise. I kind of regret it. Its color just doesn't represent me as a person, you know. This is the character we saw earlier. This is Secretary Knight. Good afternoon. Welcome to Olaf's waiting room. How may I help you? Yeah, Billy's gonna die in six years. Can't believe it. Um, why the plate mail? Why the plate mail? I used to be a knight, you see, saving princesses, slaying dragons, and such. You know how it is, lad. Cool. Why did you quit? Well, turns out, as a secretary, I get paid twice as much. Oh, and get wow. A company horse. A company among horse. other benefits. Lovely. All without touching a sword. And occasionally flirting <clears throat> with the boss. Now, lad, we You flirt with the sloth? Uh, to be a horse? Sorry, uh... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Damn it, laddie. I'd like to talk to the sloth. All right, lad. What's your name? Paradigm. Wait. Uh, that was dumb. Yeah, you shouldn't have ah, done that. Yes, you're right. Here. You're not scheduled for autopsy till tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> wait until then. I can hardly wait. Okay. Do I get a bowl of ice cream after? Well, you'll be pickled and jarred after the procedure. For future reference. Oh, I see. But I think I can arrange that. Oh. Just make sure to leave a good review on RateMySecretary.com. Oh, that's, that's nice, at least. Can you help me defeat the mythical beast, Texas? Yes, funny you ask, actually. I'm a freelance accountant. Email me at dragonsucks at gmail.com and I'll sort you out. Oh, lovely. <laughs> can you... Possibly help me defeat Olaf? Sorry, I used to do the whole defeating evil thing, but, you know, times change. I have a family and everything. My son, little Joey, is a level five paladin now. <laughs> he murdered his first witch just last week. Ah, oh, they grow up so fast. Uh, is Olaf a good guy? I know he pays on time. That's all that matters. I try to block out the whole turning the world's entertainment into just glam metal and wrestling thing. And that weird vomiting candy thing he does. Ugh. Hmm, it is very strange, but he is a vending machine. And a sloth. Do you ever miss... It's kind of confusing. Night? Not really. Lots of drama. You'd be surprised how much night gossip. 
There was once a rumor going around that I was two dogs in plate mail. It turns out the guy who started the rumor was, in fact, two dogs in plate mail. It usually turns out that way, doesn't it? Glam metal and wrestling are a bad thing? Since when? I mean, it's it's fun, all good good and fine until it gets enforced as the only forms of entertainment. That's why it's um, that's why it's considered oppressive. <laughs> I need to go save some damsels in Budapest. Don't you mean distress? I think I know a little bit more about knighting than you. All right then, cursed flowers. Pretty flowers. Yes. But they are cursed. Anything that touches them shrinks. Items and people wouldn't recommend. Noted. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was expecting. <laughs> Damn it, you're an idiot. I'm only doing this for you once. Vanguardium imbecilis. Okay. And well, that's going to be useful at some point, but I don't exactly know what for. Also, I just... It's all this. Billy slapping life. This guy is a legend among the belly slapping scene. Will we be able to listen to this? I these skills. I just never had the belly girth. Nice. I can use this with my duper gym. All right, let's uh, let's have a look then. The belly slapping. So I... Is this gonna sound like exact? Live. Thank you. Yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> right. Right. Oh. Oh, here we go. Now it's getting, yeah, now it's getting, a, we're getting a beat going. Oh. Yep. You know what? Okay. We're done with this. <laughs> okay, then. So that was a thing. That was a thing that exists. Let's go back. Um... All right. We have one more area that we need to explore at least, so. It's the church. I do think we need to get that arm on the wall there. Um... I'm not sure how. I think we need to figure out a code Church of Latter day Glam. Wow. Oh, there's a leg. Oh, no. Hold on. Great. Once I don't need it, <laughs> I see it everywhere. There's another audio tape here. Oh, God, what's this one? Nice. I can use this with my duper gym. I didn't actually look at what that one was. I should have looked at that first. Do I can you get? Okay, I have to go through the, the here to do access the duper gen. Okay, what's this one? Human sounds for whales relaxation. Mhm. Mm yep. Hey Nick. Okay. Yep, that's just human sounds. Don't know what I expected. Ball of whiskey? Hell yeah. Hey, don't take that. It's an offering to the glam metal gods. Sorry. Fair enough. Hey, it's actually perfume. Neat. Mmm. That fresh vagabond snow that the ladies love. Another dupe organizer. Let's read this. Old man McGee K. Occupation CLG janitor. The things. The things I have been subjected to in this place of sex, drugs, and. Uh, rock and complete lack of morals is getting out of hand. I woke up in the middle of the night drenched in sweat at the thought of the amount of bodily fluids I need to clean on a daily basis. How are they all still alive? I literally met and talked to an STD. No janitor should be subjected to this nightmare. Poor old man McGee. 
Uh, should we grab... Can I get this leg then? Nice calves. I guess I have to talk to the leg. I need you to come with me so I can reunite you with your head and upper limbs. To form like Voltron. <laughs> but with flesh. I'm not talking robots. Please, leave me alone. Ever since I became independent and joined the Church of Latter-day Glam, I have newfound independence. Is it uh, really that good? Yes. I got these fabulous boots, boots. my own room. Not plural. You only have the I one. And my glam metal scream, they'll give me my glam hair. That does not sound like it. Mm. It's close, but not quite there. No, no. The Messiah says I'm only days away. Please, never scream like that again. <laughs> girls here like, <laughs> uh, what will it take to convince you? What will it take to convince you? There are only two things in this I world. I don't like this blood spurts. A Swedish foot rub, or equal rights for severed limbs everywhere. Viva la limba lotion. I'll see what I can do. Right. Is being a part of a whole body that bad? The head has a foot fetish. Oh. Things got weird, man. Oh, no. Do you ever have rivalries with other body parts? Sometimes. We argue often about how it should be foot shakes, not handshakes. Wouldn't taking your shoes off be really inconvenient? Bah! You and the arms are all the same. When will legs get their heyday in society? That's a good point. How are you? Yeah, how are you even how speaking? Are I was actually wondering speaking? that. What? You think legs can't think for themselves? What are you? Some kind of leg cyst? Hey, everyone, this guy is a leg cyst. Nice. Shh, dude, I have other leg friends. Come on. <laughs> what is your opinion on prosthetic limbs? Faster, stronger, better, but don't have that warm sound, you know? Eh, all the same. I'm hooking up with a Paralympian's leg tonight. Wow. Wish me luck. Break a leg. You're oh. Sick <laughs> leg, you know that? Sorry. It's getting worse. I think I may be fathering a son. My dad jokes are getting so bad. Oh, my goodness. Um. See ya. Got to go collect the rest of your limbs. Wow. Afi to Zane. Just, uh, just a question. Why is the leg German? I'm not sure, if, unless the, the original uh, scientist it belonged to was German. You know what, let's look at the confessions book. I'm not sure what kind of confession you'd give in a glam metal based religion. I didn't wear any eyeliner today. I only did two lines when I should have done five. <laughs> I talked to the glam metal nun. That's what it says, glam metal oh nun. Oh my, you poor soul. I'm so sorry the glam metal gods cursed you with such a head. I have a toffee. Oh, thanks. You're gonna have to grab it out of my cleavage. Oh my goodness. My hands are busy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want. Just take the damn toffee. Oh no. Yeah. My hands are super sticky from the toffee. I hate sticky hands. I'd rather be punched in the face and have it over with. Also, attached to the toffee are my digits on a piece of scrap paper. Just ignore that. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not that into the terminally ill. I see. Are you like some? Are <laughs> sure from the top of the house? Kinda. Except I can do whatever I want. She has. Anything. There is a lot to take in here. Playing lawn bowls nude. Oh, you haven't lived until you feel the wind between you. Yes. Uh, yes. I. I believe you. She has, um, so first things first, she has boobs on her glasses. Just like to find that out. Uh, secondly, her tattoos are classic adventure games. Okay. Can you tell me more about the church? Certainly. So you can see, the church of the uh, Lord. Manny Calavera, it's just uh, like Max from Simon Max, Clay Man from the Neverhood, and NS NSP. There is Ninja a sex party. however, for excess. Yeah. And this excess has to be... Rockstar like. Oh, hold on a second. You can't just play a lot of Sudoku and expect. Let me just hide this heaven. for a second. Um, so you guys can see. Uh, you can, it's hiding the Clayman uh, tattoo. I'll just hide it for a moment. 
Does it get tiring holding your hand up like that? No. You, you can see Clemen from the, the Neverhood. From the hair metal gods. My forearm. They blessed me with constant metal gesture. Isn't it just called All right. Aphritis? If you want to die in a fiery mosh pit for all eternity, I keep speaking like that. <laughs> fiery mosh pit. Uh, let's pop this back on. You started you guys and didn't see those frames. You weren't looking hard enough. <laughs> How do I join the church? All you need to do is attend a space dust party for 10 days straight and receive an STD blessing. That's not a blessing. Would you be interested? Is it BYO? Yes. Sorry, I have some uh, VHS tapes to return. I don't have time to join any churches. Suit yourself. Okay. Can I have some of your donation money? Like you said, the glam at the gods did not look kindly. I could do with like a single oh coin. My, I wish I could, but our holy book is against giving money to people who have no chance to live. Wait, what? Let's be realistic. You don't have much time left. Come on. I'm only ill in a hip hop sense. I'm not dying. Shush, shush. Son, accept your death. Go on a bender, you'll feel much better. Besides, we mostly give money to the homeless. It's all in the great and sacred Glam Metal Codex. Oh. Accessible to all Glam Metal churches via the dot .nfo stations. I see. You sure you don't want to give me some charity money? I could do I just want one. Are you sure you uh, don't want I don't know. some charity money? Don't ask again. Look at you. <sighs> You're about to die. It's against my beliefs. Read the dot .nfo file on the terminal. Maybe the gods of Glam will go easy on you. I see. Do you know anything about the... Uh, Why is her arm extended? She's doing sure. a... a, we are a supposed to you know, the metal horn the symbol. one and only religion. My favorite part of the integration is our mandatory morning whiskey and cereal. Ah, of course. For too long, irresponsible parents have been denying the nutrients their children so desperately need. All right, <laughs> Twisted Sister, nice. Thank you, Twisted Sister, for your time. Can I just steal some? It isn't morally wrong when you're trying to save the world. Hey, don't touch that. No. That's for the homeless and paying all the fines slash lawsuits we build up. Damn it. If it wasn't for you meddling retirees, I would have had it too. <laughs> you smell like the homeless. But you seem to still have most of your teeth and no beard. Okay. Yeah, the giant glam rock statue. Let's have a look at that. It's an amazing statue. But all I can think about is that it was someone's job to craft some five meter tall skin tight leopard print pants. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um let's use this info station. I think we need to read we need to read the glam metal codex. Oh wow. They have CGA graphics? On the first day, there was leopard print and smooth ballads. Then Glam God said, let there be copious copulation and gross excess of lifestyle. Cocaine then rained from the skies for 20 days straight, where Noah thrust by his ark kept two of every type of hot babe slash dude safe, depending on what you're into. Nice. <laughs> this area looks great. The Messiah. The Messiah Glamicus Maximus was fir first born in first born uh, in 1959, and it is said that when he came out of the womb, his long luscious hair accounted for 80 percent of his body weight, which needed no product to stay glossy and strong. As our Messiah grew older, oops, sorry, he sacrificed his time and money to live the enlightened life of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Unfortunately, heretics rose to the f rose to fame nearing the end of the 80s, naming themselves Thrash Metal. Tragically. Through Glamicus' sacrifice to show us mere mortals how to live, he destroyed his body through his daily excess. This is when the CEO of Duba Genetics came to save our leader, offering him to be reborn as a god with an invincible body. However, due to the limitations of medicine at the time, his consciousness was transplanted into the body of a pug. Until he could be transferred into his next uh, into his full ultimate form to reign for the next thousand years. Right, I see. 
Edict of Excess. Number one. Enough does not exist, only excess. Two, respect the idea. Three, SEDs are <laughs> biological trophies. Four, the flame that burns twice as fast is twice as metal. Five, skin tight pants are the only pants. Six, androgyny is a virtue. Feel that. Seven, a healthy liver is no glam liver. Eight, hairspray is the sacred aerosol. Nine, to exist is to party. Ten, organic foods are forbidden. Charity and donation. The Church of Latter-day Glam offers many charity and donation services, primarily focusing on providing hairspray and leopard print pants to the less fortunate. However, monetary donations are given to the homeless for, for the purchase of a glam metal album Oh, to begin the converting process. Look for large grey beards, rotten teeth, and a strong smell of alcohol on their person before offering a donation. Also to note, never give money to others who seem like they are on the verge of death. The church's money is much better spent on our compulsory daily coke parties and daily fights. Okay. Um, monetary donations are given to the homeless. Do we need to like appear homeless before we can get some money then? How do we do that? Can I? Maybe I can use this space dust. I don't need it anymore. All right, fair enough. I'm more of an organic space dust kind of guy anyway. Hey, Rule six is great. I love that throne. I wonder what kind of throne would represent me as a person. I love the music I'm in the sure background. You can build things out of disappointment. As Kohima. Okay. You know what? Let's let's see if we can use the confessional at all. When I met the gods, I have sinned. I have not worn eyeliner or my jeans from the women's department. Smite me down where I stand. Okay, so that was the, the glam metal church. Hmm. I'm gonna go back here for, the, for a moment. So far I said bi pan rights and non-binary rights. Hell yeah! I think we need, cause I, we need money to get something out of here. I think. Um, oh man, what? Are hold on. So we the um. <sighs> that's actually kind of. Well, instant Swedish people is quite a niche market. I've heard it's had exponential growth over the past two years. There are at least six different spends you can purchase, and about thirty Jonas's too. Hmm. Also. It looks a little loose. I might be able to pick it up. I wonder. Oh, oh. Damn it. Just out of my reach. He's good for nothing, muted arms. Alright. I wonder. Is there anything I can use to reach it then? Maybe I can use an arm. Oh my god. I can get to it, but it's still not coming off. Help me out here, hand. You could have belonged to a scientist that dabbled in radioactive spiders, but no, you had to come from a regular scientist with no spidery powers. You guys are all valid in the chat, by the way. Okay, um, maybe if I use this. Oh, hold on, whoops, not you. Um, use this. Nice this? spoon is. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh my god. Arm with sticky fingers. Oh, Thank you, science, for allowing me to have this is disgusting. Without the messiness. By Spyro, did you mean Byro? <laughs> well, we now have instant Swedish person. This is actually pretty cool. All you need to do is shake and drop, and the instant Swedish person is ready. Right, I guess we can give that foot a, a, a Swedish massage now, because we, we just need to get the Swedish person to, uh... This is a very strange game. Chat is extremely valid today. So valid. Ah, oh, yeah, by our mind. I didn't even think of that actually drifting. Who made this game? This is a game by Jacob Janurka. Um You might have recently seen Jacob Janurka did a pitch for a Seinfeld uh, game. 
it, it's just like a pitch, like a little trailer he did, just to say, hey, help us get the rights to make this game. Um, it was supposed to like IGN and stuff, so same guy who did this. I would definitely trust uh, him with, with, with the Seinfeld game, actually. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> I don't even watch Seinfeld before, but I know it'd be amazing. Would an instant Swedish person compacted into box form do the trick? I'm sure they can offer a Swedish massage. You know what? That's extremely insensitive. I'm sorry. But you are correct. Okay. 80% of Swedish people know the age-old techniques of Swedish massage. Is that true? Let's check out the goods. I I wasn't sure that... what I was expecting. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Whatever. I've had enough of this glam metal thing. Animal prints don't suit me anyway. Go ahead and pick me up. Well... That melted s Swedish... Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> they died too young. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these church seats. Hey, there is a guy passed <laughs> out here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he is trying to say hello, but he's just gurgling on his own vomit. That's horrifying. Neat. Can I take any of the, the, the melted goop? Maybe I could use the mustache to pretend to be homeless. But I don't think any homeless person would have such a stylish, well-trimmed stash. For a goopy mess, I'm quite jealous. Hmm. So we need to disguise ourselves to be homeless, I think. I don't know how we're going to do that, though. We're going to probably need a, we're gonna need a beard, I think. Actually, hold on. Oh, damn it. Hold on. Let's go back in there. We need to read the thing again. Just so I can make sure I know what I'm doing. This is just where I've been. Why is it moving? Okay. Let me just use this again. Um, so what is it we we need? Um Please? Oh, that's gone wrong. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Look for large grey beards, rotten teeth, and a strong smell of alcohol on their person. Oh, well, that's what we'll use the um, the the whiskey perfume for. So we got that. Oh, that's one of them. We need a large grey beard and rotten teeth then. Um, how could we uh, call me? Glam Metal Nun's phone number. I wonder if we could distract her, actually. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, we're on the lookout for, for beards uh, and teeth, anyway. There's also a puzzle here with this. Hmm. I don't know, this leg is very distressing. Um... Where do we want to go? Actually, let's have a look in the lobby. There's probably something in here that I need. Ah! Sorry, Billy. I need this. You probably shouldn't take that. I'm paid well, but not well enough to stop you physically. You're not very good at your job, are you? Uh, do you want to steal that or not? Uh, yes. <laughs> that dude is not... <laughs> uh, that knight... Does not care. Or is there a poop sign on the elevator? I don't know. Either way, um... Let's go to church. I'm put a... Um, Uh, let's wear our... Hold on, how do I... Hold on, let's, uh, let's use this on here. I feel Billy deserves more than this. Or at least a much more elaborate use of his head. 
Hold on, actually. If I use it on the confession, I might be able to hide in there and, and change into... I feel like I should be sneakier than this. Oh, well, you know. Also, using a confession box to take donation money, I feel like my moral compass is getting worse the more I progress. Oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> oh, you poor soul. <laughs> Take some donations immediately. All right, cool. Yeah, we have money now. So let's go back to here. How much did we take, I wonder? We have one cruise coin? Okay. I think there's only, there's, there's only one thing we want to get right now anyway, which would be... Um... Choose what type. Okay, let's choose what we want first then. Oh, Mickey, what the? It would be nice to have a make a sick Oops. free skate park. Way better than a boring three camp. Okay, so this Girls is a, that's worth one cruise mark. Nice skills. I need to use the keypad if I want it anyway. I don't think it's reachable like the ancient Swedish person. Let's put our coin in the slot. Uh, oh, enter. There we go. This could be useful sometime later. Man, I love collecting stuff for future quests. Awesome. Let's get our... Did we get it? Yep, we have an instant tree. Um, can you somehow get all the items and receive an achievement for it? Possibly? It seems like something this game would do. I think what I ha what I something I have to do is possibly hold on, what is this what is this instant tree? If I put it in the wall crack it might be able to I've got to use it to defeat the law first. Oh. Never mind. I wanna figure out how I get this leg. Can I use his arm to reach it? Slap I really it down. don't need the hand to stick to that. Hmm. I need to save it for a sticky situation. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how to get that down just yet. Can I take this fire extinguisher? I probably should leave it just in case I start a fire. That's fair. Alright, so we need that leg and we need the arm from the elevator, I think. However... Huh. I'm not entirely sure what uh, what I can get just yet. I think this is because um. Warning. So if you try to pick that up. Repairs will be bitch um, Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle. Okay, scientists are hot. Maintenance guys are ten times hotter. Oh, hold on. Uh. Labs, call maintenance. Someone will be ready to help in ninety one thousand two. Oh, okay. for God's sake, right? If you're right, uh, hmm, troubleshooting mode activated. Please input security code button sequence <laughs> now. Press again to exit troubleshoot mode. Oh, okay. I think it's time to put in that code. Uh, labs, you know, I got call maintenance. Idea. I think you should put in that code. Skibbity bop, bit bop bop, put in that, put in that, put that code. Skibbity bop. Thank you for activating yes! the annual maintenance override. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Try not to make it worse. 
Uh, I, I, just, I pressed lab once and then maintenance 10 times. Because scientists are hot, but uh, maintenance guys are 10 times hotter. I'm a maintenance man. I'm a maintenance man. Maintenance man. Maintenance man. All right. We took away the complimentary high five. Uh, so now we have arm two, uh, arm with sticky fingers, leg two. We just need that last that last uh, leg. I'm not entirely sure how exactly we need to go about this even. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. So there's a leg up there on the in the corridor. But I'm not sure that you take up on these little rafter bits um, up here. These are the bits you have left with payday, so don't touch me. No worries. Thank you for the six bits. Oops. I opened up the settings on my... Well, it's a good thing I didn't accidentally click stop streaming. Need to be careful. But yeah, thank you for the six bits. Okay. How do we get this then? It's too high up. I can't reach it. If only I was a noodle hand mutant. Yeah, it's probably something else I could use. Hmm. What about the other arm? Free limbs for everyone. No, wait. I need these. Hmm. So Ethernet cables. Anyone got any ideas for this? Possib I mean, I was thinking possibly the uh, use the instant tree and the wall crack to sort of break apart the wall. I've got to use it. But they won't let me do that. Can I use the Some wall? Some lyrics, maybe. After all, we're just another crack in the wall. A lyric by the lesser known band, Sam and Pink Floyd. <laughs> hmm. Can I combine the arms? I really don't need the hand to stick to this. No. I need to save it for a sticky situation. I think it has to do with, it probably has to do with this wall crack, but I'm not entirely sure what. I'm gonna try this. Knife spoon is destined for greater things. Knife spoon. Wow. It's a good wow emote. Is there anything else in the office that I need to grab? I don't think so, but uh I just noticed that the little dancing guy was the guy we saw in the um in the escape room. Hey, it's a thirty something year old man that is not that into dancing desktop. Hey desktop, Joe, what's up? The hottest desktop application of the twenty twenties. Hmm. I'm not sure there's anything here that I've missed. I need a way to get that leg down. Actually, hold on. Let's let's uh let's use this fridge. Might be something in here. What's well, poppin', Jimbo? Is, uh, where leftovers go to die. Rest in peace. Oh wow. May your moldy covering bring you forgiveness. You are listening to the fridge, um, baby. First of all, you better wrap your leftovers while I wrap the door was left open, the room is cold. Oh, Forget the toaster, I'm the okay. illest in the kitchen. Knocked out the form and grill, put the sink in a submission. You should listen, mister, got a real chill bargain. Those opposed wind up on a milk cart. Still starving, she's uh -huh. balanced like some Pac-Man. Your girl is getting seconds, got her hands up in my snack bin. Oh. And I'm relaxing, the coolest of the coolers. I keep it fresh, any less you flush into the sewers. Make maneuvers, I'm gonna make sure you Food's gonna last. I'm the fridge, yep. baby. I'll survive a nuclear blast. If there was anything I wanted in my life, it definitely is a wrapping fridge. What? <laughs> 
What? <laughs> My god. Uh... You know my room? What's wrong with my room? <laughs> okay, uh, well, that was something that I did not, I, mm-hmm, 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 very cool, very cool, very cool. How do we get this leg? What if I were to use a laser pointer on these ethernet cables? I don't know. I prefer know. to use it on police helicopters. Like, what else do you use a laser pointer for? I, I genuinely have no idea how to get this. I tried using a extended arm. Uh, I tried a whole bunch of things. Maybe this will be in the vending machine. No, I, I need to. I need to pay for in some way. Glassesless. I, I'm always glassesless when I'm streaming, Nick. At least when I'm at my computer, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, um, I can't see things that are further away. I'm more nearsighted. So if I'm actually at my desk, I don't need my glasses because I can see. Oh man, this vending machine doesn't have a talking sense button. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything here that could help, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit confused as to how to, uh, how to get this leg. It's probably an item that we need to grab. I have an idea. Um, let's go to the lobby. I love the rat just vibing underneath the elevator. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, do you mind? There's a lance. Frankly, I don't do much lancing these days. Oh yes. It's enchanted too. His name is Larry Lancey. Just ask him nicely, and you can summon or unsummon him. Oh nice. Larry Lancey, keen to ride with me? Yes. Let us unite and bring pain and suffering <laughs> to our enemies. <laughs> And then drink some cold brewskis over their corpses. Oh, I love Larry Lancey. Right. See, I was, like, I was thinking, where have I seen some some kind of long pole? And I was like, ah, a lance. This is probably exactly what we need. Larry Lancey. Lancey suit, Larry. <laughs> I, I was expecting them to, them to do some kind of um, Ledger Suit Larry joke, so... I think even Larry Lancer, because um, uh, in Ledger Suit Larry, the character's name is Larry Laffer, so... Goes to show, even if you were crafted for murder, you can go against the grain and do something positive. Summon Lance Larry. Attack leg. <sighs> Goodbye, fleshy mortal. <laughs> I must go back to my realm. Later, Larry Lancey. I love fantasy. Wow. W hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Scientist leg, unique. One hand damage, one to four, durability, four to ten. Required level ten, bludgeon class. Plus two fashion sense, plus one speed. <laughs> it drops like a... Oh, like it's a, um... <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I adore this game. Honestly, it's so funny. <laughs> Hold on, did I see that before? I think I missed that last time. It's great art style. Bill S. I really wish something crazy would go down around here. All I get to do is beat down on employees and insult the company on social media. One guy tried to turn Olaf into a meme and I got to waterboard him. Oh my god. It gets pretty boring after a while to be honest. I'm considering applying to the government cyborg program. I've been told it helps with picking up and... 
Also with ED, apparently. Eating disorders? That's a very elaborate solution to something just being stuck. Welcome to point and click adventure games. May I? I'll make sure. Oh, hold on. I didn't. I accidentally type. Uh, did pick up on the elevator. May I be your elevator operator? I'll make sure to ride you frequently. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize pick up had so many like uh, joke flirt lines. Does it, does it work on? Cigarette advertisement? I don't need to convince anyone to pick up smoking right now. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Um, we have all the parts, don't we? Which means we can finally put this scientist back together. I actually haven't played Full Throttle. It's it's like the one LucasArts title that I haven't really played at all, which is a shame. Uh, I need to get around to that at some point. It, it, it I'll, I'll, I will stream it at some point. I swear. <laughs> I just like free limbs for everyone. Okay, I'll just put them in the thing then. Mr. Meaton says, "Well done." He won't be passive aggressively pushing stuff off your table. Nice. For your effort, I'm going to give you an honorary membership to Pact. Awesome. It includes a free cupcake. They're super delicious. Oh. I can use this to get um Anyway, I'll go free get cupcake. the machine started. You just press the yellow button. Here goes nothing. Oh, here we go. Engage oh. termination face. What is going on? <laughs> Activate multiverse method destroying failsafe. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness. This is incredible. Form arms. <laughs> Attach below average hit. This is this is Hey! I beg! <laughs> that was pretty weird. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh god, it hurts! Make it stop! Oh my goodness. Oh, ask him how to defeat Olaf. Quick, just in case he dies. I don't want to die! Who said anything about dying? Can you squirt out a bit of blood? How do I defeat Olaf? How do I defeat Olaf? Dude! I literally just came back from the multidimensional plane. I'm all messed up. You don't want to know where my genitals are. I don't. It was torture. The guy kept telling me dead jokes. It was the worst. And now you're asking me all these heavy questions, man. Bad vibes. Hey, I met that guy as well. I feel your pain. Oh, right. Hmm. I guess Olaf is a dick anyway. Yeah. I don't actually know. But I do know where you can get some juicy ghosts that will go viral on the net, <laughs> destroying his public image. I'll cast the clickbait curse. Oh. I'll be some sort of internet wizard. Um. So where are your genitals? <laughs> so, where are your genitals? Well, they're actually in the same place. Oh. I just wanted you to feel bad. Oh, wow. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. Can I use the ghost to construct some dope rhyme instead to defeat, him, to defeat him in a rap battle? I use the ghost to construct some dope rhymes instead to defeat him in a rap battle. That's a pretty good idea, actually. But yes, I think there is a more effective way. Turbo Genetics has a space station which they went hatches on with a local pickle cucumber <clears throat> company. It's actually amazing how much power they have. Oh, that is a curse thing you've just said. No. Anyway. Topa Genetics holds all their sensitive documents there, including all of genetic file. All you need to do is insert this floppy into the main computer and voice activate it with the password. Was it me or could you actually ask how to defeat the choke? You might that might have been there, but I clicked the, the first I'll option without thinking. Please don't tell me I need to use the teleporter again. Don't worry. It was originally designed for this station so that we could figure out why the operator went out of radio contact. Then to save some of that cash money. 
Uh, only downside really is the 1000% of your daily radiation impact needs. You should be fine though. Press the yellow button three times and you'll be good to go. Okay. I have no time for that. I have to go to the space station. Right. Yellow button. I'll give you a buzz, dude, once you get there. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. here we go. Oh, here we go. We're entering another plane. That is a jar of pickles in a space station. Oh, Gorky 2592, repurpose Neo Soviet space station. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Oh? What the ebb? Oh no. Why help it? Soto curva. <laughs> bro. Hey, dude, it's me. How you doing, buddy? Well, I'm proud to work a spook. Oh, right. I'm speaking in Swedish. Tupo Genetics was working on a real time translator. Forgot about that. As well as the quad machine. <laughs> Pretty cool. Could this thing go up? It was actually one of its many problems. You need to turn it off, otherwise you can't say the password correctly. Well, you probably won't be able to say anything correctly, really. The translations it makes are... Is it on the pesh mode? Maybe, yeah. Occasionally don't even work. Good luck. Peace! Yanta, who pursued the VGFs here? I spent a lot of time in Ikea. Ah, of course. Oh, yeah. Swedish meatballs. <laughs> Bigot computer? What? The Bob Ni Ilatana computer. Old Marina Uku Opchik Yenziku. We think it took on Gale School. Dava Miete on Firmati Funatku. To do list. Sort of the Robinia Listo. We should match a Jeshi Budinia. Mm hmm. We should match a Jeshi Va. Brantlevania. We should match a Jeshi Stere. Shidanya. Usma. Brantlevania. That is how one learns Swedish. Absolutely. Can I look at the dog on the left? Yeah, I'm gonna do that in a second. <laughs> you know what? I get the idea. Empty tissue boxes. I'm gonna grab a seat and grab one of them. Probably a good idea. Oh! Like it too. It's a replica head. The first dog to travel to the fourth dimension. First dog world president actually was assassinated? Oh my god! Guys, that's next year! 2021! Mission of K. It's been pretty chill since the Neo Soviet Union got disbanded. No international espionage, no reading political leaders' search history. Also, none of that whole destroy all the earth thing. Thank god I can pick up trashy TV shows on the dish. Me and my other crewmate is literally a cabbage named Cory. Budget cuts and all. Although I must say, he's a pretty cool guy. I feel bad prejudging him. Mm hmm. Medical charts. The vet wants him in me. Don't say anything to your turn, won't die anything B. Don't say that while looking directly at me. In now. Man, do you mean now? Uh, we start hand crafting a bench Hmm. Cross on had a primary for aesthetic purposes, however, they do serve a practical purpose. Storing water and self loathing. Oh. Experimental second brain is inserted, but isn't sure if it will affect the subject. Refined ear canal to hear. Extra subtleties outside of the range of regular human hearing. As to whether it will be uh, it will create a fatter beat is up to for debate. Alright. Custom intestinal bacteria to allow the subject to eat almost anything to survive, allowing for greater concentration on their main objective rather than nutritional worries. Unbearably smelly feet to ward off any potential romantic relationship from blossoming, which could lead to distraction. Understandable. Okay. What's this hologram tape recorder? Let's use it. Audio log one, sure. Project HRG is doing really well these days. I believe this time we'll get it right. 
Ronnie's child in common is doing great too. Oh, this is a uh, class. I didn't make you for these shitty mixtapes. I made you to bomb in a constant stream of candy. Oh, wow. The subject for has been a success. Cute little guy. I have my hopes. He's already exhibiting strong leadership skills by moving on with his babysitters. Oh. Perfect human being. Uh, I could go for a candy bar right now. Where's that stupid old? Poor Olaf. He just treated as a candy dispenser. I mean, I know that's what he is, but damn. Uh, turns out <coughs> eating only candy for every meal is terrible for your health. The doctors have given me three weeks to live. Oh no. Three weeks to eat myself to death with more candy. Uh, thanks to a legal loophole, Olaf has considered my heir and will receive my entire estate, including dupagenetics and its prodigy child subdivision. I swear to Messes up subject four. I'm gonna hot the shit out of him. Why am My I subject four? Wasting valuable candy time. You'll never judge me, Candy. I'll miss you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is. Yep. This is We just keep going? Does this this is okay? There we go. <laughs> that was longer than it had any right to be. Bro, 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 <laughs> bro, 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 bro. My goodness. Every time you walk under it, it changes the language. So you have bro, Polish. And Swedish. Oh, actually, if you're actually, it's if you're in different segments of the thing. Actually, I see. So Polish is in here. Um, German is in here. Swedish is in here, and this is the bro zone. Oh. Thank you. For activating the alpha cloning system. Oh god. To alleviate you of mundane tasks. I don't like where this Clones is going. Clones are only to be used for said mundane tasks. I'm looking at you, Mishlov. We know the sick stuff you're into. Mishlov. Control the clones with the top left interface when it appears. Repeat the word, combust, when you're done with them. So, I know on this... I guess he doesn't have an inventory. Um, can you use this? Uh-huh. Cabbage? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we can have up to four, I guess. Let's, let's, just, let's just make a bunch of clones. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. This is getting out of hand. Um. See what? Let's look at the translator blueprints. Tola, turreting into a shorter run. Unit of translator alpha model 0.53. Engineers, no, it's Mishlo. Please don't destroy the new model. We know how much it costs to send out uh, new components. I know losing your wife was tough, but don't take it out on the prototypes. R uh, robots are romancing more humans than ever these days. You're not alone. Hell, I even found Svetlana's robot stash. It was five folders deep. Anyway, stay strong, comrade. So, a new unit screws. Keep space clearance on the toes. Maximum three users. Ah, I see. We can break it by adding an extra clone. Okay. Um. 
Actually, maybe this isn't working as I, as I intended. I was thinking maybe if I uh, cloned a bunch of people. But look at the cabbage knot. Yes. Hold on, let's get this guy out of the way. Um, space cactus. Oh, one of cosmic cactus. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Zigne so chisip chichelo. That's it, those foy luji. Well, oh, let's get these. Let's get these clones out the way. Brak czasu, aby przygotować wyspiano chłono europejski kolonialny delicja. Yeah, guys, I think we need to break this um, this machine somehow. Do I have any? I hope the multiverse didn't take my stuff again. Weird. I'm speaking in English again. I guess it's a bug with the translator. I'll send the translator devs some constructive oh. feedback once this is all over. Okay, I, I, I've still got some things. I need to use it to get info on Olaf. I have to turn the translator off first. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look at this again. Right. Maximum three users. Screws. Hmm. And this has to be relevant somehow, but I can't. Can you talk to them? Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Actually, I don't think I can. Nah. There we go. Um... Can I... Can I just English point now? out that I think there was a hamster in there? I guess I don't need you guys anymore. I feel like I've gotten to know all of you very well. And it pains me that there can only be one real paradigm. Will the real paradigm please stand up? I guess that was a stupid question. Well, I'm terrible with goodbyes. <laughs> Laters. <laughs> Goodbust. It's gonna be... Oh? Oh, nice. yep. I can finally use the computer now. Well, let's take a look at this again. Um, yeah, there, is, there was a hamster in there. I heard like a squeaking I, noise. I probably should schedule a doctor's appointment once this is all over. Oh. All right, let's use this. I can use the floppy now. Hey. Finally. That was a bizarre I puzzle, but I liked it. Say, oh shit, it's recording. <laughs> I just noticed that the, uh, the the pipe screensaver on the left screen. Computers don't threaten your livelihood with high voltage. It's just not the same, you know. Hold on. Yo, scientist guy, I've got the info. Great. Also, I know there might be some juicy goss on Dupa and yourself up there. So it's cool if you don't want to live, guys. Just press the pickup button when you're ready to leave. Oh. Um, I think I've got everything I need. I think it's just if I want to look at anything else in the room. Yeah, I'm good. Alrighty. I'm ready to be torn apart by a journey through space and time. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, God. Cabbage head fell off. Mm, yeah, of course. Here's the floppy with the info on it. All right, we did let it. me suss this out on the computer. Oh god, that arm on his head is on the well on top of his torso, I guess. Unsettling. So <clears> what's <throat> the deal? Okay. So the basic rundown is He's a genetically engineered slot, mm -hmm. but they couldn't remove all his natural instincts, which include doing nothing all day and chilling on trees. Like nice. a stoner? <sighs> no. Like a slot. <laughs> After you're done making shit jokes, 
If you could get a tree near him, it'd probably ignite his instinct. I already have an instant tree. A five meter tree would probably do fine. Here is a peer reviewed scientific journal I published on it. Get okay, five meter tree. I already have an instant I'm tree. I'm not sure so. you understand what peer reviewed means. You watched me as I drew it. Peer reviewed. He's got a point. What the hell? A five meter tree? What other choice do you have? Let's be honest. This place has a bunch of messed up stuff going on. Just look at me. You'll find some solution. True. But you'll also need to get inside his room. The door is locked. Only the leader of the church will let it a Glenn goes in there usually. He has a necklace that lets him in. Ah. You'll need to get it off him. Great. I've heard he loves to fight for things. Oh, Nostalgic nice. about his wrestling days. And he loves JRPGs. I'll That's put it on interesting. The paper too, so you can remember. So we need the the cult leader's uh Thank you for necklace. Thank your employer at the drop of a hat. Hey, no worries, man. I am a man of integrity hmm. with a crippling addiction to free-to-play food-based MMOs, which was probably going to get me fired at a moment's notice. That's fair. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Once you get the stuff, Paradigm, I should have a plan to take down Olaf Reli. So hit us up when you do. Man, I'm never going to get to finish my EP. Oh, what's that? So, you finally decided to open Mysterious Hatch. Too bad I've already met another Hatch. We're doing great. <laughs> no, stop. You're the one I've always wanted. <laughs> Your paradigm? By the way... Yeah? That's where they keep all the faulty prodigy children. Your brothers and sisters. Kind of. Oh. You can check it out if you like. Might be super weird and traumatic. I love super whatever. weird and traumatic. Do what you want. I'm not your mom. I guess that was pretty insensitive since uh, you were grown in a vat. I'm just gonna uh, wish you luck. That's what people do, right? Generally speaking, let's have a look. Oh my goodness, what? Is, what is, is that like a, what is going on here? Hold on. Uh huh. Uh huh. God damn, geometry gate is always blocking dank entrances. There's, there's a lot to take in here right now. I think they are from Crusher's radiation problem, but it's just a gross misuse of selected. Isometric. Breathing. Just gotta smack him a few times. Smack him a few times. Yep, there we go. I can the skull as well. Unicorn skull. A skull with a unicorn horn. Welcome to the live art installation of the Forgotten Prodigy Children. Oh. Help yourself to the free wine and nibblies over there. Wine and nibblies? Nice. I can't just take the only thing that might actually tempt someone to come to this art exhibition. That would be immoral, but delicious. Fair enough. Let's talk to the apple head. What is this place? What is this place? It's the hottest exhibition in all of Krush. It looks more like a dank dungeon prison to me. Yeah, to some regular art pleb like you. Come on, look at the mood lighting. Don't lie to <clears> me. <throat> That's definitely dank dungeon lighting. Uh, all right, all right. It's an art exhibition which happens to be in a dungeon prison where Duba Genetics keeps all its faulty prodigy children. That's a coincidence, isn't it? Me, hmm. I think some very rich art collectors are coming down here soon. Oh. People are starting to realize the appeal of dungeon prisoner art. Are they now? Can I give you a critique? Can I give you a critique? No, you're wrong. I didn't say anything. Wrong! Ah! <laughs> okay. There it is. Yep. I'm a prodigy child too, you know. An electronic music prodigy that is aiming to become the greatest in the world. Really? For commercial or deep and meaningful artistic reasons? Do you have rationale? Do you pleasure yourself over the sheer level of artistic intelligence that emanates from your head? I know I do. I just oh, uh, like the way some beeps and boops sound, I guess. Also, 
I would not be opposed to fair stakes. <laughs> you truly are a disgusting human being paradigm. Art is for the soul and for stroking the ego. You are not an artist. Now I see why you peeps are in a dungeon. All right, then. What did you do before you decided to take up... Uh, this is another strange place. I was place. a prodigy at pen spinning. You know, After all the other strange places. <laughs> spinning the pen on his hand. Yeah, I know. Pretty lame. The guy who ordered me was super mad that his university friend could do it, but he couldn't. So he commissioned me. Now I can't even look at pens without getting PTSD. Can I ask you something else? Sure. Preferably about me and my art, though. Um... What is true art? True art is... What? I'm sorry. Us true artists have ascended to another method of communication. Oh, of course. One that a peasant like you wouldn't understand. I'm sorry. Who is your favorite artist? Christoph Kandowski. Why? The few people who have seen it still don't understand his art. Uh, he makes me so inspired. I don't like. <sighs> Please Have stop. You considered he might just be <laughs> mentally insane, and that's why his art is incomprehensible. Yeah, don't I need not as well. Get my exacto blade out, <laughs> Christian. No. <laughs> you and claim you as a living, breathing, eating art piece. My life is already an art piece of self-loathing, sloth, and gluttony. <laughs> Full circle, big by energy. Hell yeah! <laughs> what is the meaning behind your performance art? You're supposed to interpret it yourself. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's too smart for anyone to guess. Especially a pleb like you. Couldn't work it out in a million years. First, you need to know the context. All right, so oh my God. this apple on my head represents the vegan industry caught up uh -huh. in its own philosophies. Also, me in general feeling stuck. Yeah. The skull above my head represents death looming above us. Right. The party hat means that death sometimes can party. Okay. Like when you party and almost overdose. That's not However, something I've experienced. There are a bunch of extra meanings. I mean, that was just the synopsis. Oh boy. Basically, if you look a little bit more closely, there is some dirt here. I saw a bit. This actually represents how dirty we are. Really? When I say we, I mean modern society, uh -huh. i.e. you, with its dirty and hypocritical morals. Right. Damn, I'm on another plane of thinking. Okay. <laughs> and that was the shortened summary. Uh, wait, what? Were you even listening? Uh, y yes. <laughs> okay, uh, see ya. Enjoy your thing. Bye, pleb. Okay, nutritious soil. I could do with that. I will murder you if you try to wreck my performance piece. How do you... Oh, oh. I was gonna say, how are you gonna do that? You know what? I see how you would do that. Flat screw. I wonder... Nice spoon is destined for greater things. Aww. Can I just pick it up? I need to unscrew it first. Hmm. Do I have anything I can use to unscrew it? Membership card? I went through a lot for this. I'm not going to use it willy nilly. Okay. I don't think I have anything then. Hmm. Let's talk to this hammerhead. Society is okay. <laughs> Hello? Mm, yeah. Yes, you are correct. I've always thought I could be a fashion model. I just didn't have the height. A forerunner in tumor fashion. A keyboard dude. Hello? Ah! I, uh... Mm-hmm. Can't you see you're interrupting my visionary performance? Sing again and I will continue to scream! Wait. Ah! <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Toilet. Pretty sure that guy over there winked at me. I'd like to use a toilet where I don't get winked at. That's fair. Is this too much to ask? Oh, I think there's another... Ah! Let's keep organizing here. I can read this! Gordork! 
Occupation Dungeon Dweller. I've lived in this dungeon for years, decades, and now these prodigy children think they can walk in here and just start gentrification willy-nilly? They've driven up dungeon grime corners up by 10,000%. How am I me How am I my toilet's copies of myself going to afford them in the future? I'm going to write a long and angry letter to the local dungeon council to get this sorted. Hmm. I think we need to unscrew this. So it falls and knocks this, uh... Can I pick this up? Somehow will Applehead set the cinematic mood? No, you're right. I'm sorry. We need something to unscrew, um... Unscrew this, but I don't know if we have anything. Hmm. Yeah. I might have to look elsewhere. Well, either way, we need... What the hell's up with this coffin? Well. And what's going on down here? Mutant Mole People Con 2026. I see. Vomiting blood is just your body telling you. You really ought to stop taking this vampire cosplay thing so seriously. Seems valid. Let's take it. Pocket vomit is not something I'm interested in testing out right now. That's fair. <laughs> I tried the spoon thing already, it didn't work. It was my first instinct, honestly, but... New dice. Um, we need to go back to the church anyway, so... Oh! Oh! Something's happening. Oh, the Metal Messiah is here. The Pug? Is it the Pug? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you might need to refresh Drifting Light. I think you're a bit behind in the stream. My god. He's beautiful. Okay, this is going for a while. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome, my son, to the Church of Latter Day Glam. May your air be fabulous, your pants be tight, and your excess be excessive. What mm -hmm. is it you ask of me? Um, your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Your hair is glorious. Can I touch it? Are oh, you a groupie? I can be. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. Damn it. So close to achieving pure bliss. Look at those cute little boots. Aw, look at those cute little boots. I know you're trying to be demeaning, but yes, they are cute little boots. <laughs> Comfortable, too. Um... Mm -hmm. How did you become the messiah of a glam metal cult? Well, I was one of the world's most famous wrestlers a while back. My shtick was that I was a singer from a glam metal band. Welcome to the uh, the stream, Ryan Beardy and friends. You, you have come at an opportune time. It was pretty cool. Anyway, long story short, I obliterated my body. And here comes this duper genetics guy, and he offers me a new one if I run his glam metal cult. Cool. Heard you get more chicks if you're a cult leader. What he failed to tell me is they don't yet have the tech to grow me a new body. <laughs> so they put me in a pog temporarily. <laughs> Honestly, this is a glam metal uh, messiah 
in pug form. So, uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Thank you for the raid, Ryan Beardy, by the way. I thought you came at a perfect time. We're talking to the glam metal pug messiah. Don't know how to explain it other than that. What is it like being a pug? Pretty good. Good apes of belly rubs. I can imagine, yeah. Can finally lick my own balls. Oh, wow. The downside is that I need to chase things. Cats, tennis balls, mm -hmm. all the stereotypical stuff. What about chasing hoop dreams? What is this, a 90s basketball movie? To be honest, I won't even be mad. <laughs> Uh, do you practice what you preach? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I've been awake for six months and have at least. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Mystic, for the 240 bits and the um, 24 hour Cinderella. Three, <laughs> watch out! A poison a snake! And thank you, Ryan Beatty, for the 100 bits and the Cedric. <laughs> Get you, Chan. <laughs> uh, anyway, do you have a weakness, Mr. Do you Pug? Have a weakness? <laughs> no. What is that face? I'm Hard to explain. I am. In dog form, I still retain my amazing air and tight bod. Hmm. I get the bitches. Oh, no. Both kinds. Oh, no. It's hard to explain what's going on here, Ray. Um, this is... So we're playing as a character called Paradigm. He is a failed uh, attempt at a, a lab-grown human being. Um, so he has, like, these sort of tumor things in his head and no nose in his face. It looks like that. Um, we are trying to take down the organization that created us. Um, the Pug is the leader of a glam metal cult... Um, yep. And, uh, he died, but was trans... Instead of being able to grow him a new body, they grew him a pug body and put him in there temporarily. So he's a pug, a glam metal cult leader, and this is a failed experiment that is trying to take down the company that is this church is a part of. We caught up? <laughs> it, it's pretty zany. What was your wrestling name? Glorious Glam, the man with no plan. He wears a lot of cyan. Mm -hmm. His favorite pie is toucan. Should he could have been pecan? The only naming prerequisites were alliteration and rhyme. And rightly so. Is there any other way? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What I do know is that toucan pie is delicious. I know, right? Everyone hates it, but I adore it. Yeah. Yeah, can I have that necklace? Hey, man, uh, can I borrow your necklace real quick? What? Why? Yeah, just to get rid of Olaf so he doesn't murder me. Yeah. Dude, he's my primary source of income. How am I supposed to afford this life of excess if you kill him? You think all this sex and drugs grows on trees? How about if I just pick some sexual favors from the local birch tree? Look for me Redwood for my Wednesday LSD trip. How about I tie a tree vine around my neck and hang from a tree while I mask? No. Actually, that's no. a pretty good idea. No. Anyway, no. <laughs> no, you cannot. Uh, what if I challenge? <laughs> he loves GRPGs, actually. What if I challenge you to a little bit of turn-based combat for it? Hmm. Being a hey, huge GRPG fan, I cannot refuse. What do I get if I win? I'll condition your hair every six hours. You know how to tickle my little dog nipples. Please never say that again. Uh, what's with everyone's obsession with nipples around here? Oh, God. <laughs> it's happening. Um, what items have we got, then? Okay. We have all the items we have before. Let's fight. Paradigm doesn't know how to attack. Oh no. He wishes now we watch that self defend VHS. Oh god. Uh, you're making me feel bad now. 
Okay. You're probably the most stylish code leaders I know. None of this white robe bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Boosting combat was super ineffective. Okay, whoa. Ego maxed out. Right. Trade defense? Uh, are you sure you want to hit me? <laughs> I've got an enemy body pillow that really worries about me back at home. <laughs> oh my god. It was not effective. Okay. I do feel kind of bad for you. Why did you even challenge me to turn based combat in the first place? Maybe I can uh, use one of my items then. Laser pointer? <laughs> you think you can defeat me? Quick. Time. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> This is happening. Okay. Get him turned into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Those and lasers are funny. Turns out spending half my life procrastinating helped me out. Better go get that necklace remote thing. I did it! Yay! Thank you, Mystic, for the 50 bits. All right, we got the, um, all right, we have the door remote, and we have the tree. I think we actually, <laughs> I think that means we can go back and do the, um, thing here. So we, have, we have the tree. We actually might need some soil. Can you just with the pug? I'm not sure. I, I I take it kind of a bit late now. Uh, I have the stuff. Oh. Okay, hold on. I've got to use it. Oh, um. This is man. Hmm. Okay, no problem drifting. <laughs> I have what I need, don't I? Hold on. Get a five meter plus tree. I have the I have the remote. I just I guess I just need to. And I have the instant tree. This is what I need to defeat Hula. Okay. Although it says I need nutritious ah. soil trademark for it to work. That's where they get you. I can hear the nutritious soil bears laughing right now. I need the nutritious soil. I thought that might be it. That's down here. So we can see a bag of it there, but uh, the apple head won't let us take it. I think we have, to, have something to do with this. But what exactly could we use to even, you know? Oh, I'm not sure if it's responsible to use hmm. a serrated spoon here. Look at the boards in the background. Be candy somewhere else. Okay, hold on. It's a big empty room with a dude adjusting a. Why the dimmer switch? It's not just adjusting the dimmer <laughs> switch, you are clever. What is it then? By adjusting the... Yeah, I don't care. Hey, wait! God damn it! I knew I should have worse into a dumb head thing. Um... At hmm. this time, I do not need planks of wood. I will consider it for future DIY projects at home. Hmm. 
<laughs> I, can I just take this hammer? <laughs> I bet you're made in Germany or something. I can see the quality from here. Damn. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I need like a screwdriver or something. I'm not sure where I get one. Hello, fishman. Are you more of a man or a fish? Maybe you go by man fish instead. Maybe boy fish. Lady fish? Fish fish. Oh, it's Vitas Varnas. I give up. I didn't realize that it was Vetus. Awesome. So this definitely doesn't work. Nice spoon. Hmm. Man, that skull likes to live dangerously on the edge. I totally want to party with that skull. No partying with the skull. <sighs> Yeah, I definitely don't think I have what I need. What I need is, is some kind of thing that to like unscrew that screw. That's all I'm looking for right now. An unscrew device. Is he playing a game? Um. Oh, I know something I can do. Hold on. We have a, we have a um. No problem, walking you? Enjoy your dinner. We can actually get um. We can get a free cupcake. I don't know if it'll be useful for any purpose, but I should talk to them first. Actually, does that, does that one have screwdrivers on it? Aha! I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? Yes, actually, uh, this pig's membership card. Yes. Believe in the coupon. Take your pick. <laughs> My favorite is alkaline flavor. Oh. There we go. I'll take this one. A fine choice, sir. See ya. I'll peruse your cupcake selection Figure it out. later. This isn't a cupcake library. Make sure <clears> to bring <throat> a coupon or cash. All right. I'm not sure this is the greatest flavor, but it's probably the most practical of the three. All right, let's go. Let's go and screw this, uh, this, these, these planks and uh, get a skull to fall on an apple where, so we can take some soil so we can fight a sloth. What's happening right now? Uh, laps. And down here. I love that there's this whole isometric screen just for like this bit. That's great. Okay. As much as it is a big waste of a delicious cupcake, I think this screwdriver will be more handy. That's true. Let's unscrew it. I'm not sure if it's the right kind of screwdriver, but it should work. I need a small flathead screwdriver, not a Phillips. God damn it. This would be a good time to become a blacksmith. Well, that gives me an I idea. I regret not taking that chance at the Renaissance Fair last year. Maybe we can flatten this. Like right here. I'm kind of impressed that they're actually hitting the wall that hard. Nothing like risking brain damage for the sake of art. All right, and now it's a flathead screwdriver. 
Perfect. Ah, oh, goddamn. It was a cover for multiple screws. Deep? I know. It really isn't. Oh, anyway, damn it. This flat screwdriver is too big for these smaller screws. If I was a magic user, this wouldn't be a problem. Well, now it's just more problems. I bet there are more. It's giving me bad memories from the mailbox. Uh, I'm not sure now. Maybe I can use this. Nice spoon. Hmm. The flathead screw I need. I will need a wizard or a local hardware store gift card. Okay, so we need to fix this again. Can I just like hammer it back into another shape? Come on, you're better than this. Okay, am um, I then? <laughs> okay, so we have to uh, figure out how to. Um, Reshape it again. Hmm. Maybe I can cut it off with the limb depository. I don't know. I'm gonna screw you so hard. Oh my god! It has rejected my advances to screw. I was not expecting that. Um, this game is great. <laughs> I'm trying to have a think. Hmm. Maybe like a pencil shop or the office or something. I don't know. Sneeze, I think. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. I'm trying to think how we could uh, get this screwdriver back into shape now. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I keep coming at this place, but there's, there's not much. There's nothing I can do here. I'm just trying to see if I get any ideas in the time being. Anyone got any bright ideas on how to fix a screwdriver? Now that we've flattened it into a flathead one, we don't want to. We don't want it to be flathead anymore. I could get like. Is there a way to get another screwdriver? I, I mean, we used our membership card, didn't we? We still have it. Hold on. Oh. See ya. I can't get any more cupcakes. I need to make it. I need, yeah, I kind of just need to make. Yeah, make it smaller. Try the IT department. I. Uh, I don't think I can go to the IT department. Yeah, it's it's not, it's locked off right now. Um. Maintenance might help. I don't know. Thank you for Man also, maintenance, maintenance life. can't come. I don't think. Let's go to the church. Maintenance is like um, ninety thousand hours away. So, first they're not gonna turn up. Hmm. I don't think there's anything here. Hold on. Oh, I thought that was a, something I could uh, undo. No dice. Let's go to the lobby. Might be something here. Remember the night secretary? That's what I was thinking. Might be a way that... Uh... Could you, can you help me with this? I'm gonna screw you so hard. It has rejected my advances to screw. 
Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Good afternoon. Welcome to Olaf's waiting. Is there anything you can talk about? Oh, oh! I need. To, don't you? I, I just remembered. Thank God, magic does exist. It's like a baby screwdriver now. Got it. Got it. I knew it would be useful for some, for some puzzle at some point. Um, Labs. I just try to remember where I was going there for a second there. And back down here. All the way down, please. Haha, <clears throat> <laughs> you fool. I have created an even smaller screwdriver. By destroying this performance art, do I become a part of the performance? Sure. Or is life just one big performance for interdimensional beings? Perhaps. We will never know. Unless you join a cult that claims otherwise. Hmm. Oh my god! Murder someone? Oh my goodness. That's a relief. <laughs> I should have thought more about the consequences. <laughs> I probably could have just asked nicely and got the soil that way. Instead of risking manslaughter. Well, you know. It's all good. Thanks for the nutritious soil. I don't think she would be... <laughs> ...help after that incident. Well, have fun. I'm just gonna... Yep, see ya. <clears throat> okay. I have everything. Oh. Hold on. I'm gonna make you so dirty. Uh, maybe not. I should probably. Okay. Well. I have... I've got the necklace, the dirt, and the seeds. I've got the necklace, the dirt, and the seeds. Awesome. Go talk to the rebel leader. Okay, I might as well get these, uh... Out the way, then. What is the meaning of science? That's true. Finding new aliens to make love to. Ah, the Mass Effect Great. approach. That's just space they might be. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I have no idea, though. Does it uh, still hurt? Does what still hurt? The fact that your head is fused to your stomach and your limbs inverted. Oh, that! <laughs> I forgot about that. I actually feel better. I had some back pain, <clears throat> but now it's gone. Oh! Who thought it would take being broken by an interdimensional rift in time and space, and then being put back together would be a cure for chronic back pain? I'm already Ow. in with Big Pharma to be torn apart through space and time in steel form. Did you help make me? <laughs> no, no. I got employed after the original guy died in a hot coffee accident. It was super mess. I have questions. To be honest with you, I'm not even a scientist, dude. Wow. It's just that my word processing skills are on point. Well, Spots you... you've never even <laughs> seen before. <laughs> Clip art to make your eyes explode with awe. Wow. And borders, which will tickle you in places you never knew you had. Don't you feel guilty working here? Not really, man. I don't really do anything but make hot pockets and play fantasy MMOs on the supercomputer. In fact, like a decent life. Say I'm a hero, slowly draining funds from Dupa Genetics. You could say that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves mm -hmm. here. Um, have you found any benefits from this whole disfigurement thing yet? Yeah, I don't have to pull my back to. Ooh. You know what? Let's talk about something. Let's else. not talk about that. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye hey, bye. You enjoy yourself. 
<laughs> my own here, like, Christian. <laughs> I've got all the stuff to take down Ulo. Congratulations. All right, so the master plan is... Uh... To be honest, I was just thinking about what I was going to eat for dinner. Hang on, the advisors tell me that they actually do have a plan. Nice. All right, so all you need to do is walk in there and plant the seeds. The that advisors it? actually went in there earlier and made their mark on the carpet. Oh. They say that's probably the best place. If they went in there already, uh, why don't they just do it? Is the carpet well, can draw on it? It looks like it, doesn't destiny. it? You got to do it yourself. All you need to do is go to the lobby, get through the last hallway, and then you're at his lair. Then you take down Olo. Dupa genetics goes into liquidation, and none of this taking over the world stuff happens. Baxed with Roy Shindig, we'll all be happy. Going to be some super dope cheese platters, by the way. Cheese. How good is cheese? <laughs> anyway, good luck, Paradigm. You're our third hope out of four. Oh. You mean there's more of me? Not exactly. You're just our third plan. Wow. Our first plan was an internet petition. They never work. Yeah. And yeah, we already had another mutated prodigy child come through here. Uh, we won't talk about that. Oh, god damn it. Time to never finish my electronic music album and continue procrastinating. I mean, uh, save the world from one genre of music and entertainment. All right, let's do it. Let's take on a sloth. Sloth murder time. <clears throat> Just give me a second. Okay. We want to go to the lobby. Can just walk through here now. I've got to use the iPad to talk to the rebel leader. Last time I did. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Good, great, fantastic. Couldn't have opened the regular door. Now I'll have to find some. I guess I have to shrink myself. On my naked body to squeeze through. Nudity is allowed. <laughs> However, oil is where duper genetics draws the line the punishment is remedial massage till death damn you and your conservative ways i'll have to find another way I might to, yeah i think i might have to shrink myself tell you what i will do first i feel like we should return this head oh we can't do that oh never mind well i'm gonna save anyway um just just to be sure that nothing happened i don't know Give me that save. Uh, resume the game, please. Get naked. <clears throat> what we want to do is just, you know, use this. Because <clears throat> then we can, uh, yeah, get through the, um, get through the door. And we should be able to... That's a that is a horrifying image. Better on shrink. Then guard the imbecilius. Perfect. Oh god. Thank you for completing the full version of Paradigm the game. We hope you had a great time and you had a lot of fun. If you would like to continue playing Paradigm DLC. We need more money. The Kickstarter was not <laughs> enough. Please input your credit card number when the time prompts. Unlike the full version, the DLC is paid a point and click. Oh no. Please purchase the 20,000 clicks now for the low price of $29.99. Otherwise, feel free to play our ad free to play version. All you need to do is press the ad viewer button 10,000 times. Oh Thank my you god. Very much, brother. Oh man, I don't have a credit card on me. However, what I do know is elaborate credit card antivirus scams. All I need is a phone and a number. I can I, I could actually If I wanted to, I could press it 10,000 times. I don't want to do that though. Oh, 
You know what? No. <laughs> what is that? Uh, hello? You are not permitted to be here. No one. I think you get an achievement for pressing the, that 10,000 times. Me. Well, I am actually, but I wanted to drive the point home. Anyway, leave. Or else Otherwise, what? I will be forced to awkwardly linger till you leave. Sure. Cool. I have a phone number. I sometimes sell it online for a hefty sum. Whoa, hold on. It's like soap for robots. I think I skipped something there by accident. Comes out of my butt. Oh. I've got an emergency. An emergency in my pants. I did that was Mostly not from not using protection. Oh no. During non sexual contact sports. I can't do the credit card scam while they are watching me. Ah. That stern look is uh, making me feel self conscious. <laughs> I have to cop that nipple growth pill. Uh, I can take a shoe. Hello, long shoe. I didn't mean to talk to the I'm shoe. I'm here for you. <laughs> Hopefully, some beer turns up. Get my chug on. Ew. I wonder if we can do anything to this robot here. Nice spoon. Hmm. Oh yeah, slidey. <laughs> I think it's the gears connected to the conveyor belt. Amazing. Would be a real shame if someone ate the wrench inside your works. Wait, that's not how that goes. What if I were to put um, this in here? This is not a cute tiny. Okay, never mind. What if I were to put that in there? Nice spoon. Uh huh. Oh, and I can pick up the, the wrench. I don't think I could before. It's glued to the floor. It's what? I don't even. I guess it's payback for all those times I glued money to the floor at shopping centers and labs. <laughs> What's on my? <laughs> Um, can I pry it off? Nice spoon. Nope. Can this pry it off? This is not. Damn. Well, uh, the maintenance person is currently staring at me. I'm using it to its full potential. Hmm. Oh yeah, maybe the uh, the stuff that comes out will help. To see if uh... pick it up. It will melt from my gloves. These gloves are Gukovsky, Gucci's Eastern European cousin. I see. I need to use <coughs> it with something else. What's something we can use then? The shoe? The mug? One of the two. Mug. Just smashing. I mean, yeah, but you know, I need to pick this up somehow. Dang it. Okay. All right. Shoe. Who thought that shoes were such great liquid holders? I mean, you did imply it was a liquid holder when I. Uh... Yeah, I'm actually, you might be able to melt that. Oh, hold on. Did I mess that up? I could not do it. Damn it. I think I messed up. Ah, wrong button. Ah. Okay. So we can pick it up with the shoe. Who thought that? And then we need to quickly do it this. It's burning away the glue. Aha! Perfect. I am the destroyer of the gears. If only I existed in a steampunk world. <laughs> I'd break shit up. Now just to turn the machine on. How do we do that? Use computer panels? Seems like most of the children are doing fine. Except for child 729. She has four arms. Instead of the three orders. Oh. 
Um, can I just use these? Would be okay. Hmm. How do you turn this on then? Can I just use these? Uh, Seems like such a use. Okay. We'll uh. Be I'm using. Am I missing a an important button somewhere? Oh, that one. <laughs> Obviously. Wait, hold on. Or not? Ah. Oh, I see. So you need to book it over here. Bye bye. <laughs> I really hope the family receiving them will mistake them for a prodigy child. They were a pretty nice person overall. Sometime later. <laughs> Water heater, dinner's ready. Oh my god. Oh, this game. <laughs> Hey, Fobber Dan. Alright, time to call this number. I'm glad I kept that glam metal nun's number. Alright, let's do this. Scamming time! Oh god, I feel so terrible. Don't worry about it. The lesser evil. I'm trying to defeat the sloth. Hey, Matt is the bargain. I think we're near the end of the game now, actually. Hello, Agnes. My name is Brian Smith, and I am from Crush National Antivirus, and I... Oh, you need my credit card number. I'll give you my credit card number. Oh, uh, okay. But, miss, don't you want to hear what I need? <laughs> nah, that's quite all right, young man. You sound very nice. Here it is. 512331512231211. Bye. Well. Well, that was uncomfortably easy with a sprinkling of ethical issues. <laughs> oh, come on. This is making me feel worse. <laughs> Not, luck. Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Uh, all right. Can I uh, use this now? Hey, big sloth head dude. My credit card is <laughs> five one two three three one five one two two three one one. Congratulations! You just purchased four hundred thousand clicks. Account balance now minus twelve million dollars. Wow! You will be in debt for approximately ten thousand years. Oh man, I feel even worse. That's a lot. I guess she doesn't have much longer left, <laughs> especially within that messed up church. Door unlocked. Well, you know. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Well, here we go. Probably the worst host I've ever encountered. That's a rat. Didn't even clean up his place. What a mess. No welcoming snacksies. I'm going to write the worst review. Do not chant Vor in my stream chat. Twice before saving the world here. Might as well go look around while I wait. <laughs> Catch it. Look at that. I think this is what the telepathic cats meant when they said they left a mark. I guess that's what happens when you don't have any opposable thumbs. Well, it would act as At a... least it is good for the soil. I was going to say, good for soil. <laughs> talk to it. Yeah, let's talk to it. Hello, unnecessary cat markings. I worked as a poop picker-upper for a while. The texture reminded me of... Insert movie slash game franchise or director that you hate. <laughs> Potato. Hey, it's one of those potato batteries. They ban these in Krush. Using potatoes for anything other than food and vodka is a serious offense. I see. I take it. I better not mess with anything just yet. Who knows what crazy shit Olaf has in store for me. <clears throat> What's this frame then? Actually, let's get the CD first. 
You really did love that Klaus guy. Klaus, I think you're the coolest. So I made this mix CD for you. It's full of disco hits I know you love. Also a bit of glam metal. I know you're not a huge fan, but I love it. Anyway, since you're my dad technically, you want to go play some catch? Maybe something closer to your Swedish customs? Go have a meal at Ikea? Some wrapping and pillaging? Wrapping and pillaging. I think the poor guy spelled something wrong, but you know what? I prefer it that way. Mr. You. Hello, Mr. You head sculpture. <laughs> Oh, nice. It's a head sculpture of Mr. U. In 2021, they tried to reboot the A-Team again. <laughs> the real Mr. T cost too much, so they just cloned him. Oh. I definitely want to steal this once this is all over. <laughs> all right, then. Let's look at this frame. What the hell? Oh, my God. Well, that's horrifying. I, uh, I'm not sure I want to. Okay. Actually, let's talk to the... Hello, totally jacked mouse. Oh, jeez. That mouse is super jacked. Do you need any lifting tips, brah? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> Actually, can I, can I use the pickup line, man? Pretty sure that mouse can beat the shit out of me. <laughs> no picking up for me. Okay. Well, in that case, um, let's put our soil on here. I can't plant trees willy-nilly. I need to make sure Olaf is in here. Oh. If he hears that there is a tree in here, he might not come in. I see. I bet who knows what crazy shit will Okay. I guess I just have to use this use this then. Let's do it! It's a security camera terminal of Holy shit. I'm with the doubt. And that is why you should respect humans and not brutally murder them. Oh Even boy. In light of injustices they have brought upon our people. So the cone is, uh. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Oh no! Space Cadet, uh. seems to be buried under some space dust. Uh. Drug dealer seems to be doing as fine as ever. Wait, has he gotten old? He wasn't that old, was he? The the guy he was riding on? Oh no, he was that old. He was always that old. I'm go I got confused. That's a drug dealer there. <laughs> Doc just look at Roshaw three one zero three. Oh no. One two three. Think Reg. I've never felt so turned on before. Oh god. Most of the time I'm on power save. This is great, but so inefficient. I'm so conflicted as a server. Oh man. John turned my home into a robot brothel. <laughs> my client server, like, oh my god. Also, a more pressing matter. Why are there cameras everywhere? Oh god, how long have they been there? I have to find the tapes and burn them. Mankind should not be subject to my shameful personal rituals. Oh boy. Oh, hmm? Olaf. Hey, man. Heard you want to murder me. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> hey. You're looking perplexed, Parodai. Many questions must be running through your mind. Yeah. Um, did your wig have a name? Does your wig have a name? Yes. It's called Kill Yourself. Oh. <laughs> this might be inappropriate but I was wondering if I could get some sloth cuddles I, been thinking about I think that would be pretty cool heard of you. what? I'm not a huge cuddle guy also what the hell I would never cuddle with you why are there cameras everywhere in Krush if my life is a reality TV show I hope to be paid handsomely no no Krush is not a reality television show Although, in hindsight, I feel kinda dumb for not doing that. If I didn't need to dissect you, I'd probably put you on the creative team for duper genetics. Anyway, Krush was a town created to observe and research failed prodigy children. Oh. Space Cadet, the drug dealer, the cone, they are all horrible. 
magnificent failures of the Prodigy Child Program. Come on. But you, Paradigm, you were special. You were not a reject. In fact, you were the end game of the Prodigy Child Program. Class's golden child. The world's salvation. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you see I'm monologuing here? I've been writing this for days. I even had everyone from the facility proofread it. I put a lot of work into it. Please, listen. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, money and power never mattered to class. He wanted to make the world a better place. He wanted to create the perfect human. The perfect human being to lead us to a utopian society. Uh -huh. That is why he made you Paradigm. <laughs> he truly believed mankind's greatest trait was empathy and that the perfect human being needed to experience dire circumstances to evolve into that. There is only so much genetic programming can do to shape one's soul. Lame. As you can gather, this is why you are truly hideous, Paradigm. Well, then. Shocking. Terrifying. Yeah. Vomit-inducing. We get the idea. Makes me want to dig out my eyeballs. Come on, man. Douse my head in acid. What do you just mean? If you had a mother, she would probably sell you for a pack of ciggies. Wow. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will send me spiraling into a deep depression. Sticks and stones <laughs> may break my bones, but words will send me spiraling into a deep depression. You were class's obsession, Paradigm. He <coughs> nearly drove the company into the ground, constructing you. But what about me? What about poor old Olaf? I exist solely to vomit out candy bars. What kind of life is this? I loved class more than you ever could have. <laughs> he did you dirty, man. Oh. When he died, I knew it wasn't from diabetes following his severe candy addiction. It was the stress from making you. After he went, I had nothing left. So I did the only thing I could. Carried on my father's dream of the perfect world. I tried to remove you from all of this. I tried to kill you. But I just couldn't. And now, ironically, you will fulfill his ultimate plan. Eventually achieving class's dream. Um... <laughs> Can I find the speech online and take notes later? <laughs> Have you got much longer to go? Can I find the <clears throat> speech online so I can uh, take notes later? I swear to God, Paradigm, if you try to interrupt me again... You know what? Yeah, no, keep going, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> go on. Because Father adored you so much, I continued observing you for many years. I tried to figure out why class thought you would be so great. Maybe even try and be more like you. Your existence disgusted me. But in spite of everything, there was one thing I wanted to take away from you. Even after your death, I will become the greatest electronic musician the world has ever seen. No. Not you. And in honor of class, I will kill you to the sweet sound of disco synth and lasers. Time to do the murder boogie. W wait, uh, hold up. Before you kill me, can I ask some questions? Um... Did 
Did you uh, <laughs> see me do that thing? Uh, that thing I do alone when I think no one is watching. Yes. Oh no. I didn't even know that was possible, or that people can even stoop that low. I was sick for weeks. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. I have questions. Why didn't you stop me earlier? To be honest, I started binge watching a TV show. Suddenly, it was three seasons later. I can see how that would happen. I mean, I had so much to do, but it was so good. I've been yeah, there. Through, I can relate. Uh, what was it? Man-eating mutant finds multiple wives for eternal servitude. Oh. He just ends up eating them. I feel bad for him. Hmm. What's up with the whole glam metal and wrestling thing? The thing is, Class didn't even like glam metal. I tried to get him to listen multiple times, but he never took to it. Always talking about electronic disco music. God damn disco. <laughs> anyway, I needed to pick a genre to control the masses. I guess that's one way to do it. I was hoping there would be a yeah. deeper meaning to it than that. How about glam metal represents the hyperbole and excess in our modern lives? A way to look at ourselves and see from another perspective where we are headed as a collective race. See, not that hard to strain a narrative out of your actions. Uh, Why well, we kind of know this. It's because he's a vending a machine. <laughs> Father only made me for one purpose, to be a living candy machine. The only reason he imbued the candy-making gene in me was because I was what was left lying around after some laboratory tests. Hence the reason he constantly calls me trash. Are you sure you want to kill me? Klaus probably loved you, but he was just too... Manly to say it. No. I know, poor guy. No. He told me multiple times that I was trash. He just needs a hug. He even made me sit and watch a three hour PowerPoint presentation about why I'm worthless and I'm oh my god for making candy. Poor guy. Enough. Uh, let's get this over with. By the way, Paradigm. You acquired 243 shit guy <laughs> points and thus triggered the evil ending. I didn't even know it was a thing. This, you must scour all night long through fan made wikis and read up on the most obscure forums to get every single ending possible. I see. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> really. Just messing with you. Life is just a linear experience in which you are in no control of any of your actions. No free choice. Just an endless, infinite cycle in which you are doomed to repeat all your mistakes. <laughs> anyway, here is a bunch of endings you can choose. Oh, uh, fan ending, gonna be all right. This must be a, a glam metal thing. It was all a dream or actual ending. I guess I'll start with the actual ending. I don't know. Can I save? Let's do a save. All right, Paradigm. It's time to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye with the sweet tunes of synth disco. Choose your ending is the right choice. <laughs> in the afterlife. Engage disco lasers. Pause time. And with that, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh. <laughs> what, is, what is happening right now? Pause time. I forgot about the anti assassination force field. <laughs> Turns out it works both ways. 
Hey, Paradigm, do you mind walking a little closer? Hmm. You're going to die, Paradigm. Ghost class will love I me. I can't do anything with it. I'd rather not that work. Oh, we got it here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. How do, how do we do this then? Right. Who is this? I never knew Koopa would make jungle. For those days, you just don't want to vomit. Keep this one's a bit beat up though. Can I use it? I need to open. I used to carry on the can opener in my pocket oh. religiously until the accident. Those two mouths. Tell me to get rid of the laser first. Took a lot of self-control. Ah! Hey, it's full of candy. Oh my god! It screamed. Oh. Wait, I remember in that children's book, full of vomited candy. Gross. Hey, I've been saving that for reanimated class. It's a loot. Five Baba Yagas working around the clock to bring him back from the dead. I don't know what these are for. They've spent my advance on vodka and mushrooms. <laughs> I still be have all these. Though. Okay. Potato science is the work of the devil. A carb heavy devil, which lends me my large love handle. Damn it, Paradigm. Powering the laser was all that potato had. What is he going to tell his potato family? Please just plug it back in so I can kill you. <laughs> yeah, nah. All right. Oh, God, the laser is going to shoot. It doesn't work now, though, does it? Oh, that one works. Okay. Hey, there's nothing like a bit of brotherly matter. Hmm. Boys will be boys. Stand a little closer. Can I use this? Oh, God. I can't get there in time? Okay, okay, how do we do this? I wish I could do a Rocky style montage. Not that it's convenient right now. How do I there move? must be a better way to be faster. Oh, hold on. Eat. All those cups of coffee at home really have cranked up my caffeine tolerance. I should eat more of these. Let's do it. Cheese. Cheese. I love you, cheese. Cheese. I love you. Feeling that we could still go. I think they're in seeing what's. That's no, we won't eat them. Jacked already. I'd better go to a miss. I feel jacked. I'd better go. I mean, nut. Mm. I can take. Okay. Mm. I we need the. I don't want to pick. Okay. Mm. I could finish at least three last minute pieces okay. right now. Could still go for another. Let's keep going. Mm. My heart sure feels like death right now. I'm pushing the human body to the limit for the good of mankind. Could still go for another. Last one? I think I can see through time. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. What is happening? Jesus Christ, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The laser is going to shoot. <laughs> Uh, we need the uh, some of these. I think that I don't. Okay. Let's eat these. I feel, I'd, I feel I'd better go. I I already, okay. You know what? I think I just need the strength to, to beat this rat. Did you show that map not picking up? Oh yeah. God! Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Soda helps you see faster. Um. What can I do? Hmm. Can I use, do this yet, actually? I can't do that. Okay. Um. Do I need to get rid of this mouse somehow? Oh, let's have a look. I 
Okay, um... Oh! Of course. Yo, little buddy. I hope this is up to your mousy standards. I heard you guys can be real assholes when it comes to quality control. Not cool, dude. Oh. Nope. He does not like the cheese. Oh. Oh, God. The laser is going to shoot. Okay. Maybe we can get the uh, protein bar then. Here are some more protein, you cute beefcake. Cheers, dude! Oh god. My body is now ready to experience a new level of body dysphoria. Damn it, Chad. Keep pedaling. I need the power for the laser to kill Paradigm. Sorry, bro. My thighs are too jacked. Oh, yes. There we go. Those energy bars are wearing off too. Time to do the pig's plan. Now, where was their mark again? It's the poop. Oh man! Really? I don't really have a plan B here. That's too bad. Who knew you were so good at solving puzzles? Almost time to stop this procrastination <clears throat> journey. Hey, hang on a second. What? What is that dirt for? I know. No biggie. I just like placing dirt around. You know, I'm just a quirky guy. You're lying! That's it, Paradigm. <laughs> I'm going to crush you with my chair. <laughs> Prepare for pain. Come on, man. Don't be like this. <laughs> this is not. I'm gonna get. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is thrilling. This is absolutely thrilling. <laughs> I really would like to cuddle you, but you know, when you don't want to kill me. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Would you consider just killing yourself? It would make things a lot easier. Yeah. It's mm. tempting. However, I regret to inform you, I respectfully decline. Shit. All right. Well, I'm just going to go online and post on forums to see what the next step is. Yeah, you do that. Come back tomorrow, and I should have something ready for you. You fool. You're falling right into my hands. Hello, fellow internet <laughs> friends. I am Man, looking I really hope to this works. kill someone. Did you just plant an instant tree? Oh, God. Why did I stock that in the vending machine? <laughs> I better stand back. It's happening. Oh, oh good. <laughs> nice. God bless Dupa's guaranteed 80% product failure rate. Hmm. Maybe we're gonna jack it up. From the deep web. How does that sound, Paradigm? Wait, something is happening. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Well. <laughs> I. I. This tree is so beautiful. We got him right where we want him. I love trees. Good job, Paradigm. Thanks. Wait. What the hell? How did you get through there? What? Oh, turns out there is another entrance. I'm oh. pretty mad right now. <laughs> I can't even emote. Shh. Well, you saved the world from an entertainment dictatorship. What are you going to do now? Probably... Probably should finish my EP. Yeah, he's all right. I think I brought the sport of procrastination to its peak, to be honest. Took down a dictatorship. I just need to get back to, uh... the procrastination king. May your reign last for thousands of years. I just like how this game is basically... Paradigm gets distracted from making his, um... His music. <laughs> the elusive beat. Doug! going to lie. After that whole pretending I'm dead thing, I didn't think Paradigm would buy me a car. <laughs> I have to go think that OG. Especially so next time I can't pay rent, he'll be less mad. I should go ask John where he's at. Oh, are we, we're playing as Doug now. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Hey John, uh, have you seen Paradigm? Uh huh. Where can I find him? Boy, old mate is heading out on tour. Oh, bro, why didn't he invite me? He did, multiple times. You just kept beatboxing over him and pretended not to hear. Oh well. Thought he was asking for rent. All oh, right. Where is he going exactly? Uh, he should still be at the buzzer stop down at the edge of town. Do you need directory days? Man. I can never understand the thing you're saying. Do you need help Are those plunger there? nipples? Yes, actually. You gonna head there now? Uh, I'm gonna look around. Hang on, uh, I'm going to look around. No worries, mate. I'm gonna look at this first. Hey, John. Uh, oh, never mind. I can't. I do the same thing. Okay. Um. How's the whole creepy toe chasing robot thing going for you? <laughs> Funny you say that. Tom's a changed dog. Got my little missus here. I've fallen in love. Yeah. I never knew the love a washing machine could give. Oh, God. She keeps me clean, figuratively, and literally. I'm oh, right. Yeah, okay. Big ups to you, big man. Where did Paradigm get all this gear? Well, after the whole derpa genetics incident, Paradigm bloody buckled down and got serious. Wait, did he actually become successful? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Ah, oh, yeah. So you just went and fizzled with the Dupa genetics and sold everything on Ibaiski. You what? Stole everything, mate. He bought me a Strelay too. <coughs> Although the place is basically worth nothing these days anyway. So you got some Blunter wheels too. Alright. What are those directions? Just take a Mizza and walk down Old Borkovitz Road. Make a sharp bloody left on Dinky. Derovitz Road, mm -hmm. then go Dinky left on Old Dinky Brad left, got Road. it. Go through Crush Forest. Yep. Then continue through to Warforth Tunnel. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, the refreshing breeze of nuclear fallout. It's hit that. <laughs> This music is oh. You may not pass. Hello, traveler. What? You must answer these riddles too. Or was it three? I'm not sure. Let's just make it three for now. Oh, I, traveler. I have already passed the bridge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn it! Really? Yeah, sorry, Shannon. You're getting better at this every day. Watch a few more video tutorials, and you'll be a real bridge throw. Ah, thanks for understanding, Doug. What is this? This is Paradigm. We're pretty much at the ending. We're currently a beatboxing eggplant called Doug. Um, Park bench. Worst. There's always vodka and ciggies on these tables. Your giski bear is behind this. Your has bear. more substance addictions than the average bear. Hold on. This is Republic of Pashinsko's Mission Legal and Joy. <laughs> Luda Nava. First car in Eastern Europe to have a tape deck. I lost my heap of virginity in there. Don't like that phrasing. Hey, there's there's our boy paradigm. What the hell? Speed limit is 420 here. Really nice to see that Paradigm is oh, spending this seem safe. wisely. Graffiti murals are doing great in this economy. No I remember coming. hearing about this okay. incident. A uh, bunch of rats managed to raid this in tandem. Oh yeah. Apparently they were. There are some genital drivers. drawings there. It's everyone else that is terrible at merging. You see them right there. Okay. Wolf Wolf Tunnel. The government tried something different and asked the local pets for their opinion. <laughs> I can see that. All right. From Milk Nut War. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that this does not seem like a safe area. Ah, how about this? I think a little more beep boop. 
would be better. Uh, good idea, actually. Well, 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 look who it is. My favorite unnutritious vegetable. Haven't you heard? Eggplants are now considered a part of the gangster family. <laughs> None of these vegetables are actually fruit bullshit. If I wasn't so excited about this new track, me and Olafro, I would berate you about how stupid that is. I feel pretty left out, man. Not going to lie. Don't worry. You're going to be beatboxing in the interlude. Yeah, boy. Also, sorry about that whole beatbox ignoring thing. Oh, good, man. I see. You're my boy. Damn it, bro. I'm gonna cry. Let's hear that new track. Here we go. What's happening? Hey, we did it. Jacob Janica. What a game. I, I, had a, I had a lot of fun with this one. Delightfully weird. Oh, oh Jacob Janaka did a lot of the voices actually. I didn't even realize. It's Rock Baker? No. Oh. Peter Wolf is actually an name I recognize as well. Yeah, this is a, this is a, r a really uh, interesting game. Hey, Vitas Varnas. Ross O'Donovan. Oh, Ross was the bridge troll. I did not know that. Hmm. Oh, Francisco Gonzalez, Paradigm Superfan. I know Francisco Gonzalez. Francisco Gonzalez is the uh, guy who made Lamplight City. <laughs> okay, yeah, this was a this was a really great game. I uh, I had fun with it. Definitely could recommend playing it because it's it's weird in all the best possible ways and it's really really funny. I had, I I laughed a lot at this, as you can tell. Um, I'd like to also say what I'm going to be playing next, because, um, you know what, I can skip these credits for now. Because um, uh, obviously I'll be starting another playthrough next Thursday for my next adventure game, Thursday playthrough. Um, and usually I put it up to a four, but there was one game that I wanted to get out the way. So I've decided that next week I'm going to start on a game called Beneath the Steel Sky, which is a uh, classic point and click by Revolution Software, the people who made Broken Sword. Uh, it's well known as a classic. I uh, know next to nothing about it. And I'm excited to play it. So yeah, next week we're going to be starting um, Beneath the Steel Sky. Okay, well, I'll just exit out of this and then I'll go on to full cam. Ah, here we go. How are you guys doing? Thank you for coming along for a wonderful stream today. I went for three and a half hours. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so yeah, Beneath the Steel Sky next week. As for my next stream, though, um, like the shirt, yeah. Ghosts. <laughs> uh, as for the next stream, though, I'm going to be streaming on Sunday because I'll be playing um, Yakuza 0. Uh, I'll be continuing uh, my play through of that, uh, which is going to be really exciting because the Yakuza 0 has been... Is it endings, though? I'll... You know... I might, I like to do the other endings, but I kind of want to do them in my own time. I've been going for three and a half hours. I kind of want to wrap things up. So, But if I do a video on this game, I might cover them. Even that much. <laughs> um, okay. I guess now that, that, that means this, this means the stream is over. Um, yeah, we better we better get a a raid going on somebody then. Um, who is streaming at the moment? Just Zenta. All right. Tell you what, I'll send you guys over. Zenta, he's playing Super Mario RPG. 
So, um, what would be the raid phrase? Raid phrase will be fat beatsies. That's a uh, P H A T, and then just follow my lead. You'll get the hang of it. Fat beatsies, because that's a quote from the game. Um, yeah, thank you for coming along today. But Ethan Steel Sky next Thursday. Uh, Yakuza Zero this Sunday. And you guys are amazing. I will see you in the next stream. Goodbye.